Can you like archive it? Like your final moments? Like just make sure. <laughs> uh, I'm like, going to watch you fuck. We'll you know stream what? on I'm Twitch. Just, just for you guys, I'm uh -huh. going to go to the cradle of European civilization in uh -huh. Bella Spila, uh -huh. with that, which is one of the earliest European settlements, and I'm going to fucking bust a nut in the ancient puddled waters, then climb to the top of the biggest rock and kill myself where European civilization started, making oh, me the yeah. ultimate slap. <laughs> Game Kunst und Kast die Felder sind Wind die Erbarme der Arsch My Boy Lula Fit. Special, my boy, you love it. And welcome to the Gaming Cult Podcast E3 2014 special. I'm your host, Jake Innes, from sunny Sydney, Australia. Uh, joining me, we have Garrett Hunter. Hello! Uh, we have uh, Eric Badur. Hi, I heard the last uh, podcast was ruined by Cody and Ryan, so I'm here to make up for it. No, it wasn't ruined. It wasn't ruined by me. It's hey, just Cody, like he's in a Hey, Cody, he, shut up. Cody, Cody, hey. Cody hey. introduced you yet? Hey. Cody, there's, shut up. There's going to be a set of rules, uh, yeah. and rule number shit. one is... Only introduced guests are, are allowed to speak. Yeah. Until you've been introduced by our host, yeah. yes. the illustrious Jake Innes, yes. who who runs this ship. Yep. You yes. may and not. Is also, and is also handsome and lives in a new house. True. Yeah, first rule of cult club is don't fucking talk about Lars Cody. Yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <Tax break. laughs> so uh, there you go. Zach Innes, how are you, my brother? Um, I'm a little bit fucked up, actually. That's the reason I haven't been on the past few podcasts. <laughs> You're just like perpetually drunk or yeah. what? Um, no, I've spent the last two weeks on painkillers. <laughs> oh, oh shit! How about getting off of Oh, oh you have that fucking retard, huh? 
hand. Yeah, my retard hand. You got that fucking oh. retard hand. What's he's got? Obvious, as the doctors described it on the sheet, obvious deformity. <laughs> <laughs> Does your hand hurt you? Yeah, it's um. Well, I've got metal rods in my hand at the moment, so it's uh. and my hands all bruised after surgery, so it's not great. Jesus. You're like an android. If you were there, I'd rub it for you and make it feel better. I wouldn't. I would. I would hit it and make it feel worse. You're a paranoid. Honestly, it's re it, it's it's really smelly. So I don't think you'd want to rub it. <laughs> Why does your hand smell? Shuts up. Because it's got a cast on it. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Never never waiting for a paycheck. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, my paycheck is still coming because luckily I'm on. I've had sick leave for when I'm in hospital, but that's about it. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I, something I've noticed uh, from other countries, you you don't say the hospital. It's just hospital. You just say hospital. When when yeah. I've been in hospital or when I've been on leave, like that's weird. Put the in front of those things. All right. Is the no. is there a singular no. hospital, Eric Bedore? Is is hospital singular? Do you yeah, go to do you yeah, go to the, the, the hospital, hospital or you go to a hospital? The hospital. You know the beauty? yeah, but you didn't say you didn't say a hospital. You just said I've been in hospital once. Jake introduces- You got- you got retard mouth with your retard hand. Once Jake- Yeah, well, that makes two of us. <laughs> we both have retard hands? Yeah! How many- <laughs> oh, I was about to say something fucking awful, but I restrained myself. <laughs> <laughs> Last because Cody it, from- Related to the story where- God damn it, let me introduce everyone. Last Cody, how are you? Okay. I'm shit now. Why? What's wrong? Being bullied to came in here. We by a certain person! I, well, I'm trying to cyber bully you, mostly. <laughs> Listen, I watched the movie Cyberbully, and I do know how to get the cap off, so if that happens, you better know the consequences. He's watched that movie too, Cody. Uh, yeah, and uh, what, what I learned from Cyberbully was turn off your computer. <laughs> That's it, and then you win, and then you beat Cyberbully. Should we this... just turn off the computer now, Eric? Uh, well, no, Cody's the one. Well, yeah. I'm the host of the call, yeah. so if I'm I shut it down, this all so I'm just gonna leave it on. Hey, all Cody, did you watch Hackers? Yeah. 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 yeah I saw saying? Hackers in the theaters. I saw hey. it. In, I saw it in cinema. Why? Congratulations, you're fucking why, old. Why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> yeah, you are. E3. That's why we're here. Uh, and it, it was actually a good E3. So let's talk a bit about it. That's why we're here. We're, we're going to do it. We don't really have the regular bits. It's our only yeah. time-sensitive episode of the year, really. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, Unless we... I mean, last year we had... Now, I really wish we could have tr c uh, continued this fine tradition, but we had <laughs> our uh, E3 special before we had our pre-E3 special. <laughs> After E3. <laughs> yeah, that's, a weird, that's weird how that happened. But, you know, Game & Cult, we can get away with those kind of things. Uh, but no, we're going to yeah. do it right this time, and we're going to do it up, and let's do it, and let's come correct. E3 2014. Do it. Um, doing it and doing it and doing it well. Boys, let's talk about each yeah. of the main uh, p uh, publishers, and let's do that. And let's start with Xbox and three, two, one Xbox. Three, two, one. Xbox. Okay. Here's here's how I feel about Xbox. It had the exact same booth as last year, just in a different location. There you go. Oh, but you, you guys were See, on the, you guys were actually on the floor, weren't you? I was. I'm the only. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you actually went to E3. Yeah, that's hand. what I thought. You can't even see, but I'm the only one raising my hand. Yeah, that's what oh, I was, I was just going to get the hospital on my hand in QE2 in Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. Every, always back to your hand. So I actually went to E3 while Zach was in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Microsoft had a showing that was, I thought, decent. But uh, I think it paled in comparison to the other two publishers. And they, I think they're putting a lot of money in, or in like a lot of investment into Sunset Overdrive, when that probably isn't what you should be backing. I'm not. I'm not really into uh, Sunset Drive that much. Yeah, really? I, I guess. I, I, I think, I, I think it the, looks rad. The art style just like, doesn't do it for me. The whole aesthetic isn't isn't for me. I don't think. But that's just me I personally. Think, I think it's one of the most charming games on the Xbox One. It almost tempts me to kind of. I think. Yeah. I think charming is a way you describe something that's not good. <laughs> It looks that, fucking. I, it looks I fucking fun. People say That's something is charming. Yeah, I mean, like it, it, like looks fun. I guess I don't know. I, it looks I think... fun, and not in the way, in none the way of like Saints Row, where it's like, hey, you want a dubstep gun? <laughs> Two years late to the trend, but like, hey, I'm gonna have a lot of fucking fun. Yeah. Uh, I think that it looks like, it looks like, look how immersive this world is, and then as soon as you're immersed, they go, ha ha, but it's just a video game, right? So you have no time to be immersed. <laughs> it, it is so. It's like. 
it's right on top of, hey, get it, and then, oh, you get it, and then you move on. <laughs> yep. It's just, it, it all seems really silly and shallow. And they're, they're just one yep. level away from Gangnam Style. Operation Gangnam Style. Yeah, it's it's hacky. Uh, the, the word I would use to describe it is hacky. I will I enjoy it if they don't put fucking memes in it. Yeah, yeah, there's no memes. It's like, hey, whatever. I mean, it just looks, it looks like goofy and fun. So it's like, all right, hey, I might have fun with it. Like, I don't know. Oh, but Gundam starts. It's like, well, as long as it's not like, welcome to watch dogs. Here's memes. And yeah. Then, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true? Memes. Do that? Do they really fill up Watch Dogs with memes? Can we talk about oh, yeah, Watch Dogs for a sec? Because that that came out uh, while we, we while we had our little break while I was moving house and stuff. Um, let's talk about Watch Dogs for a minute. Who's been playing Watch Dogs and what do they think? No, nope. I, I have a copy and I have not played it. All right, so no one. Cool. No moving one. on. I went to buddy's house for like ten minutes. I guess it was pretty fun, but like within the first ten minutes, I saw memes and I was kind of like, yeah, oh, fuck this. Terrible. <laughs> Are there really memes in Watch Dogs? Is that why they held it back to add memes? Yeah, it, I think it got delayed for extra memes. They wanted to wait for a new meme. For, for the newest memes. Yeah, the newest. Which I understand. I don't fault them for that. Yeah. They have the newest best memes. Up a Gangnam Style. I think that they so, so guys, guys, I have. I, I heard the game ends. Yeah. I heard the game ends like this. Okay. You, the main character, uh. gets an anonymous masks and puts it on and says, "We are anonymous in credit rolls." Whoa. What? Uh, what? Dude, hack the. Hack the planet. Acid burn. Zero cool. All right. Anyone else? Uh, that's Watch Dogs. Fuck that game. No, I, I, uh, I, I wouldn't say fuck that game. I've been wanting to play it, but I just keep hearing from a lot of people that it's much like the first Assassin's Creed. It's really great at first, and then it gets repetitive, and yep. And uh, it's a cool open world, but not much else. I, I don't know I if think it's like forget that it's Ubisoft or, or what, but isn't that pretty much what you expect from that game? Yeah. I guess so. If I sat down long enough, I guess it looks like the kind of thing I could have fun with, and it could be like, hey, this is this is kind of cool, I can do all these things. But, I mean, a lot of the complaints are from people going, well, what we saw at E3, well, what we saw when it was, like, you know, s sneaky peaky, was yeah. not, nothing fucking like the end game. Hang on, roll and back. Like, what yeah, the fuck what did you just say? Stop. What did you just say? Sneaky peeky! Why don't you understand what it was sneaky peeky? Can we refer to each like teaser trailer of E3 yes. as a sneaky peeky? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think that we have to. I think now, yeah, Zach demands it. Zach, do you ever go to the uh, the red line and have a sneaky peeky slap? I have a sneaky peeky slap. Oh, it's... Ooh, that's for later. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I won $1,300 <laughs> this week. Spoiler alert. Did you really? Whoa. You gave me a sneaky peeky at your income. That's a sneaky peeky. <laughs> How it's, do you it's do a it? hell of a sneaky peek. How the That's pretty fuck do you do? It? Because yeah. I didn't, I didn't play for about two months after I won last time, and then I went back and I was like, and I was just coming out of, um, I was coming home from the hospital. I'm like, oh, I'm drugged up. Let's give it a go. And so, <laughs> <laughs> I had a cheeky, cheeky slap. Put you had in, a cheeky, cheeky, sneaky peeky. Oh my god! I had a cheeky, cheeky, sneaky peeky and won a cheeky, cheeky, sneaky, cheeky one thousand three hundred dollars. Fuck's yeah. sake. Oh, and I'm off to Europe in two weeks too, so you won't be hearing this sweet voice for a month. Oh no. yeah, that's right. In, two weeks. Where are you going Shit. in Europa? I'm going to um, E3 countries, Europe three. I'm going to. I'm starting in Italy, and I'm going to Rome for a few days, and then heading up the Cinque Terre to Florence. What? Well, I'm sorry. The Cinque I'm sorry, Terre. Whoa! Well, I don't think that that term is is used, you know, on think... podcasts and such. That's Cinque some Terre. bullshit. Five pounds. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Well, anyway, he said. That and then I'm off to I'm off to Paris. I know what I heard. Um, for Bastille Day, which is gonna uh -huh. be good fun. And then I'm flying down to Croatia for oh, um, cool. two weeks. Get Going get a get a feel for home. Like yeah, of course it's gonna be it's gonna be sweet. I'm gonna slab it up. Stay tuned to my Facebook and Twitter, guys, because there's gonna be a lot of squatting. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna? Did you say slab it up or slob it up? Yeah, slab. I like it. Peaky at Zach's Twitter. Just have a cheeky peaky with the brief key. Stop. <laughs> we need to stop this <laughs> right now. Uh, it, hey Jake, do you want Jake? Do you want a sneaky peaky to my next joke? Sure, I Zach. Tell you please. It's, it's sneaky. It's gonna be a little bit cheeky. I'll drop it in about two minutes. Timing. Timing. <laughs> <laughs> you have two minutes starting now, motherfucker. <laughs> is, All right. Hey, here we go. As long as we're talking about Ubisoft and uh, cheeky cheeky sneaky peekies. 
We did at E3 did get a sneaky peeky at uh, the new Assassin's Creed, where you can only play as boys and you can't play as girls. No. Oh. Yep. But Eric, they, they said they said it would take too much time. They couldn't afford it and they couldn't take enough time to do it. Listen. That's gonna. Be they only have. Okay. They Go only ahead. have eight studios working on this game, Eric. Isn't that insane? Eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard. I heard it was ten. Well, they, I, I, Assassin's Creed Unity, which uh, is spread over so many developers. Uh, like, what are you doing? How, you know it's going to be a piece of shit if yeah. you spread that thing. Yeah. I haven't Unity. seen a fucking screen from that game. Really? Yeah, I don't care at all yeah. about that franchise. Of course not. It looks like the last four. Yeah, I bought the first one, and I remember being like, wow, this is, like, new, open world, kind of cool. Oh, yeah. And just fell out within hours of interest and it's just never never cared since yeah same here. it was very in. pretty though i'll say it's pretty yeah well, 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 well in every next gen pretty. game was pretty yeah exactly yeah. i mean i watched madden shit and that was gorgeous yeah <laughs> you watched john madden take a shit yeah oh. it was fucking gorgeous <laughs> it was fucking gorgeous yeah dude it he like he was circling where he was shitting. It was what? really cool. Well, Johnny, oh, just Eric, did things. you get a cheeky peeky? Did you get a cheeky sneaky peeky into John Madden's toilet? I saw, I got a cheeky cheeky sneaky peeky at John Madden cheeky cheeky. You're saying that? That's you two minutes. I did it. I fucking yes! did it. Exactly on it. I timed it on my iPhone. Oh, that is. You think oh, circled it like the play-by-play -play yes. commentator. That would be the joke. Yeah, oh wow! Yes. So now, did he point out? Hey, the... Garrett, hey Garrett, I really, what? I really didn't see him do this. So oh, you, far, oh, as far as you're you lying to, take, to me. As well, for as far as you want to take this, it's you're already sitting done. here on this couch next to me, lying yep. to your best friend. Uh -huh. That's okay. Is Brian around here? Sorry, can we move this on? <laughs> I'm upset now. Uh... I don't know why Ubisoft said it would be so expensive and so hard to make women characters in the game when there are already women characters in the game. You walk by them and kill people. Like, there are other women in the game. Why is it so hard to make a skin? So you can kill Anyone? women, but you can't play as them. Yeah, Correct. how many, how many beheaded women were at E3? Fuck girls. Oh, Cody just said that. Don't say that, Cody. I only have one like and one dislike. I like Terminator 2 and I dislike girls. <laughs> <laughs> you just like real girls. You're okay with 2D girls. I, I like that you like Terminator 2. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, who the fuck doesn't? That's a good ass movie. Perfect movie. Guys, hold on, here's a solution. Why don't you just not play the game if you don't like it? That's what I choose. Well, how, why why, why uh, don't you just uh, stop complaining me. and just yeah. not play the game? Hey, Zach, me. quiet. Me. Zach! What am I supposed to write on my Tumblr about? Yeah! Stick, stick it to the man, just don't play the fucking game. No! I'm so, no! I'm sorry, don't no. play the game. No. What am I supposed to make gifts of? Stick it to the man, write <laughs> a blog entry. Man, American <laughs> History X is so fucking racist. It is a grossly <laughs> racist <laughs> film. Alright, don't watch the fucking film. <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> 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 I really do. <laughs> oh, oh, shouts uh, out to overactive youth. Well, let's get back to the E3 topics. Yes. Sure. What do you guys know about? As I was there, and you were not. Yeah. Uh, Eric does have the physical descriptions pretty down, but I watched a lot of internet streams, and I, uh, I was pretty happy with how well. E3 kind of like showed this year. Uh, last year was the console launch, and we got to like see new hardware, but not really a lot of games. So this year was nice to get game after game after game, new trailers, new gameplay. Well, there's one thing that I'm excited for, and that's the uh, the Halo Legacy uh, Master Chief uh, Legacy box. Really? Oh, you're the only one I know that's like I'm into mean, that. I, oh. I think it's cool. Oh, I'm into it. It's... I don't even think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just it think has Halo. T it, it has Halo Two, and it, they're bringing back Halo 2's multiplayer and Halo One's multiplayer on That's, the same oh. disc, like online. Like you could play Halo One's like original multiplayer and Halo 2's original multiplayer. Every single map from every single Halo game that's over like hundred, like over like a hundred, like twenty maps, I think. And the most, the most like impressive. Every everything. You know, the most impressive you know thing I thought as well. Well, no, that's here's the thing. The most the thing I thought was impressive is that they're preserving the original engines for each game's multiplayer. Yes. 
That was yes. going to be my next question. Does it? Ha does Halo Combat evolve the remastered edition? Oh, yeah. Will it have the will it have the well the engine that it had? Because yeah, I had not, so it's not reach that's, shit. That's that's the only Halo game that I have had fun with the multiplayer and sat down and decided to just keep fucking playing. Yes, oh, yeah. confirmed. You I play can Halo still, One multi. You can still team kill in the original Halo multiplayer. I'm sure. And wow. can you jump about like 300 meters into the air while team killing? <laughs> and then that, and then. And then land in a warthog and grenade it and blow it up and then soon get out and like, you know, squat over all your teammates and not get banned? Yeah. Yes. yes. You Fuck probably it. can't do it without getting banned any longer. There's one way to find yeah, out. Your, your, your reputation stars on your Xbox account will be reduced by one. <laughs> for the consequences of your actions that are ruining the community. Consequences will never be the community ruins itself. <laughs> yeah, it's fourteen-year-old boys. What do you think? <laughs> and they me and might Cody. Be our viewers, Eric. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Hey. All you fourteen-year-old boys out there, Eric wants to fuck you. <laughs> That's what Eric wants. <laughs> what? Have you, have you guys ever done that? Like, just played a lot with you, like, Hey, fuck, like, fuck, fuck 14 year old boys? Hey, no! No, where they're, where, they, where, they, where they're abusing you and they're like, Hey, fuck you, faggot! It's like, yeah, alright, bend over, let's fucking go. I'm gonna go to town, that asshole. I'm gonna ravish it. And they just get mad because they don't know what to do. They're like, yeah. no, don't ravish my asshole! I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna destroy your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in the day, back in the day, those insults would get flung around pretty regularly when I went to high school. Yeah, there you go. Me and Eric were just talking about this, uh, we were playing Mario Kart earlier today, and they got all these fucking baby characters. <laughs> and, like, when me and Eric play, we like to talk shit, so we're like, yeah, I'm coming up, riding right up your ass, little baby Peach, I'm gonna fuck I'm you. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of baby Peach. It's like, like it's that. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Can't. Suck my dick, baby Luigi. You can't <laughs> say that. That's that, they guys. Th people those... listen to this shit. Where were your triggers? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Where sorry. was my warning? I don't like to make fun of that. I I get it. I get it. But there are this. They don't listen. If you have to have trigger warnings, you're not gonna enjoy this podcast. You're not gonna enjoy most of your life. Yeah, that's true too. RuPaul things, and RuPaul said that. Things so we're things are gonna be a little rough for you. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I don't like the baby characters. I feel like uh, they left out some very important, like, dry bones. Where's dry bones? Where's Birdo? Pathetic. Oh, I, I think, I thought I saw something about Birdo. Yeah, the Halo box oh, okay. set, that, that's happening. Halo 5's happening. Uh, there was, oh, there was that, um, uh, the, oh, what's the, Shinji Mikami game that's coming out? On, uh, oh no, yes. not, not Shinji Mikami. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, Hideki Kamiya game that's coming out on the Xbox One. That looks really cool. The dragon slaying game. What's that called? Scale, scale how to, bound. How to yeah. beat your dragon or whatever. <laughs> yeah, how to beat your yeah, dragon. Yeah, that's what it was called. Thanks, Cody. I, 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 he's wearing beat headphones. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Kamiya's making a game. I, hey, whatever, I'll buy it. That's care. true. Was he actually wearing beat headphones in that trailer? He looked like yeah, he was. Yeah, how to, how to beat your dragon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm wearing beat headphones. Music, I don't know. He is wearing headphones. I, are they really Beats? I'm pretty sure they are. They look That's so much weird. like Beats. I don't like that. I like Kamiya, and I like huh. his games. Uh, I saw just images of, like, the art style, and I was confused, because it just reminded me of, like, Devil May Cry, like, well, you know. That is his creation. Yeah. <laughs> but, but no, the new Devil May Cry, like, the young, teen angsty character, which I like. The fuck you, Dante. Yeah. The, I don't give a shit. I'm not getting out of bed today, Dante. Yeah. I'm not getting Fuck out of you, mom, bed Dante. today. <laughs> Shut up, mom. Actually, that Dante. Dante was cool. That Dante had like. Fuck you, mom. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna listen to Green Day all day. Fuck all day. demons. But he had like two strippers over in his trailer, and yeah. they were knocking demon boots. Yeah, remember when he had strippers? And when he wakes up, he's got panties in there. Huh. Whoa, he looks, panties. He looks suspiciously like you know one of the heads of the team or the producer or something. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah. Uh, I showed oh, you an yeah. image. And that was, what was that? 2012? Upper Gangnam Style. Gangnam <laughs> <laughs> uh, Right, anything else of note in uh, the Microsoft uh, thing? I thought, I thought it was actually... They announced, they, announced, they announced a new Crackdown, which I kind of don't give a shit about because Crackdown 2 sucked. And I mean, Real Time Worlds is under. So yeah, yeah. they're not going to make in the game. So, I don't know. But they got the original uh, guy on it, haven't they? They got yeah. They got the original guy that worked on the first game, which I mean, like eh, people, maybe. People, people but the thing that one. worries me. All right. So have you heard about this? That is the first Xbox One game to have cloud processing, which means 
Uh-oh. You have to be connected online to play that game. It's no just a version of DRM, just worded differently. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's fucked up. Uh, I did not know that. Uh, uh, when I saw the Crackdown trailer, I was kind of like, oh, awesome. Like, I remember this game, and this art style looks exactly the same. It, and, and I think that's kind of the problem. It looks exactly the same. That art style is kind of ugly. <laughs> I mean, I had fun with the first Crackdown when it came out. Me definitely. too. Oh, definitely the first one. Didn't yeah. play the second. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I, I personally, and this is so biased, but I just personally don't like most Western art styles for gaming. Yeah. No, hey, I, I think the best. Uh, oh, guys, that's an honest Bubba. opinion. Hi, Bubba. Sorry about that. <laughs> say hi to Bubba. Zach, you had to say hi to your Bubba. Hey, right, say hi, Bubba. My Bubba, I love you so much. Bubba's, Bubba's gone. Sorry to fuck up the conversation, guys. Mim, 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 mim. I love you, I love Bubba. You. It's no, we were just talking shit on America. Jake was fucking dissenting. Yeah. Yeah. Saying I, how bad our artists are. Well, no, I'm not saying that. I just realized something when watching this E3 is like, man, I'm really fucking biased towards Japanese art styles. No, I, I, I do hear you. Well, your interest is, you have a deep-rooted interest along with me in Japanese culture, so... Mm. Not with me though. Oh yeah, both. No. <laughs> both modern, both modern, both modern and traditional. Both modern and no, traditional. Cody just, Cody just wants you, wants to fuck your women and dump you. It's true. Well, uh, I don't think that. No. They're too, they're You're just making an assumption. They're he just D, wants to. Story. He wants to Sorry. touch himself to images of. Well, okay. actually, Garrett, listen. You don't. What? I don't think you understand. The, I do understand. I don't. I don't think you understand. Listen. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you gave up. Oh man, you're a kooky cat. I love um, you. Cody. Uh, Cody, you're gonna get me in Final Fantasy. Yeah, uh-huh. that's true. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna make sure you two get we fucking get... married. This is an arranged marriage, and I will she make sure, sure it takes place. Can we? Can we? Congratulations on your marriage. I just want to say thank you to the Square Enix team who decided to allow gay marriage. Uh-huh. So now Cody's Ray Nekonami cat girl can get married to my. Character Lil and the Cat. She's Absolutely also very beautiful. Not. Cat girl. Ray wow. is never gonna get married. However, my main character Cody Brown. So there's people. There's already people in the game doing this. They're going into Party Finder looking for other people to marry them. Like, oh, I need someone. I need like a person to marry me. This is true. So my, my grand plan is. I'm gonna go in and be like, yeah, I'll marry you. I go to the wedding, have the ceremony. Second I get out of the ceremony, discarding the ring and getting a divorce. Oh, <laughs> and then rinse, so- fucking repeat. <laughs> it's hard your ring. You're gonna be so the, yeah, serial, so how- the serial de facto of Final so how Fantasy works is, So how it works is, once you get married, you get this ring. Like, to signify that you're married. But once you discard that ring, you're no longer married to that person. So, awesome! So, oh. hey, that's all I'm gonna keep fucking doing. The boss has never been so easy. I'll marry you. They'll pay for the ceremony. They'll spend thousands of gil on oh, the you're ceremony. Evil. I'll fucking go in and be like, yeah, I do. And then walk right out the door, throw it away, and be like, fuck you. And then I'll leave. Evil. You're an evil man. Do you split your belongings, like, when you divorce? No. It, you, nah, I just, I just... In built prenup, Cody, you're ultimately the loser out of this. Yeah, Cody, you fucking loser. You just toss that ring and... Done. Dividing that community chest. Gotta watch out. <laughs> Well, uh, but as we discussed, none of that matters because uh, K- Cody's character is in a prearranged marriage, a GCP marriage with me now. So that's true. That's true. Also, it's a fucking video game, like, so oh, none of it matters anyway. True. Well, look, Hell. Eric, I don't think you understand how deep the rabbit hole of Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn goes. Yeah. I don't think I ever want to know. It's deep. It's it's a good game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's a really, I, re- it's a really, really yeah, good I, game. I'm so glad that I worked I'm finally leather into for this two game. Hours. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you hellbent for leather, Garrett? Yeah, I am. I'm level 12 now as a leather worker. Um, I mean, that's aside from my main, you know, like, archery class. I'm just all about making mittens and little, uh, like, thong underwear type jobbers. Mm -hmm. Culottes. Huh. Yeah. Is it? Sounds 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 pretty cool. It is. It's really fucking cool there. Yeah. Is it like Star Wars Galaxies originally was, where, like, you could be anything you liked? Like you could I be a fu- you could be a musician in the cantina and you could fucking play the game just as a musician and that's all. You uh, do. I mean, not like, not necessarily like that, but there's like a lot of classes. Like there's culinarian, like all the crafting gathering classes. Like if you're a culinarian, you're a, you're a chef. You actually like cook things and make meals 
and like you can get you can give them to people and it's like oh you can get, have like a signature touch to all your meals that you make that's pretty cool. You could be known. That sounds so fucking lame. It sounds I fucking eat. sick. Do you understand what this that food does? Gives you fucking crazy ass buffs. And guess what? Sell that shit on the market for thousands. You're out of your fucking mind. I'm not out of my fucking mind. I'm fucking in love with Aorzea. He, he's not out of his fucking mind. He's fucking in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Hey, are you against a male in the kitchen? I think that's being sexist. Dishes. Oh my fucking god. Cody. Jesus what? Christ. What do you want? What do you want from me, Eric? Anything else. I, Cody, I want literally anything else. <laughs> what does that mean? Do you know what you're talking about? I'm talking about making food in a video game. <laughs> oh my god. Eric only likes growing food. That's why he's a big Harvest Moon guy. Yeah, I'm a huge Har The Harvest Moon booth was great. Let me tell you Let me tell you about it. There is a new Harvest Moon. And all I know, and the booth was great. You could take a picture on a horse. You could take a picture by a cow. <laughs> Are you excited for the 27th installment of Harvest Moon, Eric? Absolutely not. No. Why not? I like the Harvest Moon games. Of course you do. Have they Be changed Because you all? play it a different way. What do you do that's so fucking bizarre in that game, Zach? I would love to know. Actually, Harvest Moon is one of the very few games I play properly. I fish for about like four hours, five hours of my what? real life what? on Harvest Moon, and then I earn enough money from fish to propose to my wife. <laughs> yeah. That's go. just like every person's Harvest Moon. That's like everyone's experience with Harvest Moon. Hey, I don't have enough fish to marry my wife. I need I need more fish to marry my wife. Or, oh man, I need to mine more to marry my wife. Yeah, Eric, don't you get it? This is what video games are for. There's a lot of, like... Your wife sounds like a bitch. Yeah, there's a lot involved with wanting to marry this woman. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Eric, for a wonderful life, I fished, no joke, probably over like 2,000 fish to marry my wife. Damn, she must love you. She no, she loves fish. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Eric, can you marry Stone Cold Steve Austin in your game? I cannot. Oh, yeah. fucking waste the time then. Tell me when a WWE MMO comes out where you can cook. <laughs> <laughs> where you can cook? No. Well, this has been our Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn update. Back to <laughs> the Microsoft Join us the company. No, that's so guys, um, who, gives, who gives a fuck about Hable, Fable Legends? That was also with Microsoft. Yeah, it was. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's like a DLC type game or something. Or I like, didn't even like an see indie that. game type thing. It's a download, isn't it? Is really? It? Oh, is it free to play? I, I thought it's a full-fledged sixty dollar game. It was like a five player co-op fable game. Yeah, I thought it was like a smaller title. Is it not? I don't think it is. I think it's full. Oh, oh. the the way it was presented, like I thought it was a smaller title. No. Yeah, I got I got wow. free to play vibes from it. Definitely. It's got, it's got really. I don't know. It sounds really um. The way they were describing it, it sounds kind of. It's a bit airy fairy at the moment. But then again, like they're promising all this shit, like. Apparently yeah, the AI just... is going to be like ridiculously like just over like ridiculously smart like Turing test here smart mm -hmm. and it's one of those things where Fable where it will promise you everything and then oh, give you absolutely. a little bit and give you a taste it's like it's the Fable cycle is yeah. I mean rem do you guys remember how much Fable One was hyped Oh how yeah, oh, yeah. Crazy definitely was? definitely that's why I'm saying like you can't believe a word of this yeah fuck Fable yeah exactly it's it's that Molyneux curse where he's like yep. here I'll give you the fucking world. But you can just have the dirt. Fuck you. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, I haven't played one since the first Fable, and yeah, they, those games aren't for me. Yeah, uh, they suck. There was it's some, terrible. There were some cool Forza updates. Um, there's the Nuremberg Ring coming out for free. That's really cool if you're into Forza. Hey. Wait, 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 um, wait. Just what is our drive avatars back? Our drive avatars back? They never left. Okay, so Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, drive avatars. You know what now, a drive what is a, I don't know what a drive -tar is. Drive -tar, what do you think it is? The dumbest fucking thing. No, it is. Look, here's what drive -tar is. It's AI for the opposing cars. That's it. So ghosts. That learns. It's ghosts. It's, a, yeah. okay. it's AI that learns how you drive. And so Mario Kart ghosts. Oh, so it... And it makes a ghost car that you have to... No, not, not at all. Against. It's got nothing to do with fucking ghosts. It's just an AI engine. That's all it is. Like in a really but they advanced have a, their own name for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think their name is Ghost Drive Avatar. All right. Drive -tars. Cool. Spooky, scary Drive Avatars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's good. I thought the staging of Microsoft's uh, E3 conference was really good. I like the camera work. They changed everything up a lot. It's not just this this huge wide shot of a massive stage with a tiny person in the middle. And uh, I liked how they presented their uh, E3 conference, and I think that'll set a trend for future E3 conferences. 
But, but I like the tiny think, person on the stage. James. What do you think about using too much of the color green? I think maybe choose something else. Like what? I'm offended I, by it. Another color than green? It's always green with them. It's like that's their brand. Fuck them. I know. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, I'm offended by it. No, I think they should go black and red because it's more edgy. Mm. They should do blue. Has still, anyone done blue? Still be offended by that. Uh, we did blue, blue and gray. Hey, the last the last console that did red and black was the Atari Jaguar. So you know. Oh, oh yeah. God. Let's say. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Bring that back. Curse. <laughs> what is Atari? It was Atari even at E3 this year? Did they have anything this year? Yeah. Where was Atari? Uh, you know what? I went to the video game history museum booth and I did see an, an Atari. So there you go. I Shouts saw out. some dusty old boxes. There you go. Shouts out. At the Video Game History Museum. Shouts out. So Eric, as the person that was on the floor, what are your overall thoughts of Microsoft's presence at E3? Uh, it was not as crowded as I thought it was going to be at that booth. Sunset Overdrive had the longest line that was over an hour, like every day. Uh, but you could walk right up and play, uh, what was that? Dead Rising, Super Ultimate, Hyper Fighter, whatever the fuck funny uh. name. Uh, you could walk right up and play that because no one was playing it. And uh, there were honestly like probably just as many like hang out and play our games kind of like parts to that booth as any other booth, but they were all pretty empty. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, take that how you will. That that was just me kind of skipping through it and having to take pictures and stuff and, and seeing that uh, day to day. You know? Uh, well, I'm, I'm excited for the Legacy box, the Master Chief thing. I'm excited for Halo 5 when that comes out. Uh, that um, Hideki Kamiya title I'm excited for. And there were a couple of other niche titles that I was really excited for as well for my Xbox One. So, yeah, I, 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 I wasn't displeased with it. Oh, they showed some really good indie titles like Cuphead. Cuphead looks really good. Oh, yeah. That looks really cool. Yeah. But that's also I, coming out on PC, I, so I mean, like, eh, I don't have to get an Xbox One to play that. Yeah. I, I was the most excited about the DLC they announced for Dead Rising 3. Uh-huh. Oh, you do, I hear groaning. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked like it was too much fun with a stupid title, so uh, it sucks. No. Uh, I mean, it's very, like, self-aware of how goofy it is, but whatever. I am excited to get an Xbox One to play that game, and that, that DLC looked like more of a reason to uh, to get it. It looked fun. It, 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 the the, the original game out? was fun. I, I just... I feel like Capcom really is trying to live off like their good things they did in the oh, past. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, hey, Capcom, oh, yeah. Capcom's its own worst enemy, and I'm not here to argue that. I just think they made a game that looks like fun despite a shitty fucking garbage title. Yeah. It looks uh, fun. I think that I think it looks like a really good time, but yeah, Capcom is the king of, hey, remember this thing? Yeah. Like, that's all they do now. Yeah. It's terrible. I hate it. It is. Um... Well, I'm excited. I saw some Dino Crisis stuff, and like you said, Cody. Well, yeah, it's like they're living off that. It's like, man, what if we had a new Dino Crisis? Well, here's yeah, yeah. that'd be awesome. great. They're, they're living off that nostalgia, and I've been so unhappy with their, like, you know, Resident Evil franchise oh, just been in the fucking toilet. Oh, I want, I want Capcom to just go under already. Well, I'm I, fucking tired of that. Yeah, yeah. The only thing it. I get out of them are these little DLC like references yeah. and other stuff. So. But we, we uh, that's been, like that was the biggest thing for me in the whole Microsoft press conference was the DLC announcement for Dead Rising. That I agree, me too. The Halo thing I, I think is cool, and I'll probably end up getting that, especially if I get a one. But uh, yeah, no, not, not not like huge news. No, yeah. no, 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 no huge no, news. Like tre tremendous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I hear what you're saying with the, the Resident Evil series, but wasn't like Revelations just a such a good game? Revelations oh, was, yeah. was good, but like it still kind of had moments where it's like, oh, you have this guy following you around. Why is this guy with me? Why is this guy Parker just following me around? I want to be by myself in this ship. And then you just kind of go to these two mercenaries out in like the forest killing like a bunch of dogs. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, it's like you almost had it. Just let me be Jill alone on this boat and let me yeah. explore by myself. And it's like Parker comes in. Hey, Jill, how's it going? You doing all right? Okay, yeah, sure. It's like he's talking he's talking your ear off all the fucking time. I can't get immersed in this fucking boat. It was a great new older generation <laughs> Resident it, Evil. It, it, it was a uh, portable first. It wasn't just quite, you know, it was the best Resident Evil that's been released in four. a long time. Yes, yeah, since But four. it just wasn't up to snuff with like the consoles we have now. Um 
I feel like like Revelations had like moments like it, I felt like it was a lot of like oh yeah you had to get keys to go through specific doors like you had to keep going back and forth it, it was backtracking like older yeah. I enjoyed the backtracking stuff so I enjoyed that but it's like they also included all the new shit that doesn't need to be there uh and it's just don't like, get me wrong I think that was my game of the year that when it came out yeah, yeah I, I still enjoyed it because it, it had, it had really remember. good moments and had a badass final boss I loved the final boss of Revelations. So overall, it was a good game, but it was just like, it still had those little bits of like, you don't have to do this. Like, Capcom's just, they've slipped really far down the ladder. Well, they're like a fucking garbage company. They don't make, yeah. they don't do anything well anymore. Yeah. All they do oh, is... I like Ace Attorney. Hey, that is one thing. I do like, I do like Ace Attorney, but that's a visual novel. You can't really fuck that up. Yeah, see, I don't play those. <laughs> nope, me neither. Those yeah. are great. Those are and, really, really uh, great. Yeah, they're, they're good. Yeah. I almost played the Harvey Birdman Attorney of Law one. <laughs> so I, I really like that show. I love that content. Yeah, yeah. That game was pretty good too. Yeah. Shuts up. Well, well, well let's I let's. Harvey, but I think I. Harvey okay, Birdman, go ahead, go ahead, uh, circa 2005, pre Gangnam Style. But it's therefore not relevant. Okay. Yeah. Agreed. We have to move on. <laughs> I agreed. I agree. Okay, so moving on from um, uh, Resident Evil games, let's segue into the new IP that was released, that was announced and showed a really fucking cool trailer for at the Sony E3 conference. And that game was Sony. called Blood Something. Oh, wow. but, oh that's, that's, the, that's the Demon Souls uh, fucking yeah. game. That looks really cool. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I can't play Demon Souls too hard. It's like way too hard. That's not for me. Is it, is, it really, uh, is, it, is it really like Demon's Souls? Is that what it's going to be? Yeah, that, that's that's the Project Beast game that the creator everyone... of Demon's Souls and Dark Souls has been going, like, hyping up. And that's why everyone was excited, because it's a new IP that's like Demon's Souls. Uh, People love those, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Nerd. I thought it had something to do with Resident Evil. Every... No, it has absolutely nothing to do with it. No. Why are there fucking zombies in it? Everyone... <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't have anything to do with Resident Evil. Why were there zombies, Cody? There's zombies. I don't know! <laughs> Riddle me that, Cody. Yeah. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think one thing, if we're going to kick off into Sony, yeah, let's and I mean, Pro Project Beast did bring something to mind, and I'll just address it first off because we got to get out, of, get it out of the way quick. But a lot of people were really upset that there was nothing. I mean, they hyped it up, and it was it was really their own fault that they brought themselves down. But everyone wanted to see or was praying for. Just a little bit, like, you know, just a griffin to show up on screen at some point. Yeah, like, just that was great. bring back that it. last garden. No last so, garden. So happy. So happy he didn't show up. Why? No. Why are you so happy about it? It's just Be like. Because, what? Give, hey guys, give up the ghost. No way. Yeah, but I feel like. I feel like. 2007, hey, but, 2007 is come and gone. It's, it's done. It was an let, let it not. go. Get, get excited for games that are actually going to come out because Last Guardian. <laughs> last Guardian will never come out. I, I get what you're saying, Eric, and but I feel like both sides of the equation are kind of like I, I don't see the point of getting mad about it, but I also don't see the point of just like anticipating it every year. They uh, keep throwing so, out so, little bits, but, though, but little you're telling teasers, me is and that shit. everyone anticipated it. This is insane. This is insane. Yeah, Everyone's it's Half-Life Three Two Point Oh. Yeah, but I don't see. I, but also, it's just like if people want, if people want the game, people want the game. I mean, hey, I preach like I want to see Shenmue Three every year. Like, but like, but. But Shenmue 3 not coming out isn't a talking point of E3, and Last Guardian not coming out is. Yeah. So let it go. Yeah. I'm not going to let it go. Really? Yeah, I think that that game is going to come out. Yeah, I, I, I love Team Ico, and I mean, like, even if it's not Last Guardian, just Team Ico, make another game. Like, yeah. If I, it's not, I agree with you. Just don't have to make Last Guardian. Make yeah, anything yeah. else. If they make Last Guardian, like if they completely like just redecided to develop it, like apparently like, oh, it's not canceled, not canceled, whatever. If they show it, they show it. If they don't show it, they don't show it. Guys, so, either I, way, I need to just interrupt here. I've just received an email from Team Ico. They're holding uh -huh. back the game because they are adding memes. They are doing meme research for, oh, team, for the Last Guardian. I take it back. I take it back. That's great. Are they going to change the Griffin Dog to a Griffin Dog? <laughs> <laughs> much, much fly. I, I can, I can has wings. Much <laughs> delay. Such gameplay. No, lol, no. Wow. I fucking hate that man. <laughs> 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 I didn't think it was stuff. funny when it came out, and it certainly got a lot less funny once everyone did it, and once people started like doing it in real life, I was like, get the fuck out. I just yeah, thought that was a like, funny. You'd be at a party. I thought that was a funny picture of a dog. That's what I thought it was. 
yeah, that's what it was. That's what it originally was. And then you'd be at a party and everyone's enjoying themselves, having a great time. And then someone in their bid to be witty and sarcastic would go, oh, ha, oh, much humor. Wow. And it'd just be dead silent. Great. What? <laughs> <laughs> that is Skype cuts out. Oh, hey, dead <laughs> silent. Silent. <laughs> <laughs> it's connected. He gave us exactly what he said he was giving us. <laughs> Give that man an air horn. Boom. Zach, he's back. Zach, are you actually gone? Oh, he's gunshot. <laughs> oh shit! My brother! Are you okay? <laughs> like oh no, he's disconnected! Fuck! Alright, Zach's dead. Uh, you wanna try to get him back? <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, so, Sony. Lots of shit going yeah. on in Sony. Mm -hmm. So much. Much, much things. Oh, such Can you guys hear me? Oh, you're not dead! Yeah, we came back just in time for memes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Actually, no, it's fucking awful. I'm leaving again. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's let's go through. There, there was so many. They just came thick and fast with the announcements. The game announcements like they did last year. They kept that. Uh, they kept that speed up again. They kept that pace up again this year with this uh, conference, and yeah, let's fucking talk about it because th it was a really good presentation. Yeah, I I seem to connect with most of the stuff that they showed at the Sony press conference, uh, namely Metal Gear, uh, the Phantom Pain. Absolutely. That 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 um that, that fucking trailer, man. I, I yeah, I know the trailer leaked. Uh, Cody was nice enough to let me in on the little secret that the trailer had leaked a day early. But uh, watching their high def upload of it and oh, yeah. uh, and seeing them talk about it there in the press conference was for me like I don't want to be verbose, but in in summation, E3 was only about Metal Gear. Oh yeah, for as me. Far as I was go concerned. going into it, it's like I knew I'm getting I'm getting if, if everything sucks, if everything's terrible, at least I'm getting a new Phantom yep. trailer. And that's why, I, you know, the one thing I was saying when people were asking me, what are you excited to see? What would you want to see at uh, E3? It, the answer was Last Guardian, because honestly, I didn't know if I was getting that, and I didn't. But I knew I was getting the Phantom Pain stuff. Yeah, yeah, and it's that trailer is incredible. It's, it is fucking awesome. Uh, like, uh, the, the really cool thing about uh, Metal Gear at E3 is that if you got into Konami's booth was huge and had like a lot of empty space. Everything was like behind closed doors. If you got in and you were able to watch uh, the playthrough, like the demo and everything of Phantom Pain, you got a Diamond Dog shirt. Oh, it was yeah. it's like a fucking rad hey, looking shirt. Too. And this is the one year I decided not to go. Oh, you didn't get a shirt. Well, Rocco was quite a good friend of mine, uh -huh. and he went had a personal viewing with Kojimi himself, Gimi. and he got me that shirt. Wow! Fantastic. Yeah, what a nice guy. What a buddy! Shouts, what a buddy. Out, Very shouts nice. out to the whole team. God damn. Yeah. Shouts out to David Bowie, Diamond Dogs. Shouts out to Hell Bowie, yeah. shouts out to uh, Ken Doza, he was there in full yeah. effect. Yeah, Mark Bolin, who was a friend of David Bowie, shouts Dude. out to him. Shouts out to Brian Eno, produced many Bowie records. Uh-huh. That's true. David Byrne. Yeah, shouts out, oh, Shay, shouts out to the whole talking heads. Shouts out to Tom Tom Club. Yep. Shouts out. Shouts uh, out to Mariah Carey, who covered, to who who used a sample of a Tom Tom Club song. Shouts out. It's just a sweet. I think I si should cover fantasy. Moving on. Uh, uh, <laughs> that would be real great. That's like a nut job if you. <laughs> I am nuts. That's nuts if he fall if he did that. <laughs> nuts. Uh, You're welcome. They, they they teased a little Uncharted 4 at the end. It was a teaser trailer. Yeah. Thanks very much for that, uh, Naughty Dog. No, Rocco's really excited about that, but that's uh, the only person I know who plays us. The way Uncharted 4 games. is hyped up is this is the end of Nathan Drake's story. This is his final hunt, like the final like treasure hunt he'll ever go on. This is the end of his story. And they have, the that, they have the writer and director of The Last of Us doing this one. Wow. So oh. they're going to make this more of a... I think this is gonna be a really grim Uncharted game, as opposed to like Indiana Jones, like a last. Oh, I see what you mean, Cody. So they're gonna like finish the fight and then do it again next year? Yes. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, well, Naughty Dog tends to end their franchises. Like they ended Jack and Daxter. I mean, I mean they added, yeah, they ended Crash Bandicoot after three, then uh, Jack and Daxter after three, uh -huh. and they did Uncharted all three of them, and then they're doing four, which was kind of weird because they only used to do trilogies. Yeah. Uh huh. 
Uh, so, but it seems like they, they pretty much just said outright, this is the end to Uncharted. This is- We wanted to give it a send off. This is the finale. This is what all has let- everything that has happened has led up to this. The Thief's End. Uh, wow. I, I love the I, just, I love the Uncharted I just games. I just don't think you need a new Uncharted game. Jake, you're you're uh, you're into those? Oh, very much so. Like two and three yeah. huh. are some of my favorite games of all time. Love them. Did you play the one? They had one on Vita that was quite good. I heard. Yeah, oh, yeah, got, yeah. I, I played that. I didn't get all the way through it, and uh, I have never gone back to it. It's not as good as uh, the yeah. console one. Console it, ones. It's as good. I think it's as good as Drake's Fortune. Uh. Uh, it yeah, has like a, it's flawless. Yeah. It was done by another studio. It was the first one done by another studio, which was kind of like and eh, it shows. They, it really it. shows as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. they they did uh, they did like nail a lot of like what makes Uncharted Uncharted, uh, and I enjoyed it as a launch title for the Vita. Uh, that was a killer launch title. Sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. They're remaking the first one, and they're making an animated series as well. Uh, or no, a movie, yeah, a whole movie, that's right. Uh, Isn't there an animated Sly Cooper film coming out, too? Yeah, yeah it's part of their, I, like, project. They're also making a Heavenly Sword movie. What? Really? What? Yeah, what? But, but the Heavenly Sword movie is direct to DVD, as, like, Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper are theatrically released. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Still, I think it's weird that Sony's, like, doing these theatrically released CGI films. That's uh, just odd. Yeah, 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 are we gonna get a game of the movie of the game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I hope so. We're we gonna get a sneaky peeky of the game of the movie. Yeah, the game? Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't say it was a sneaky peeky of Uncharted 4. Hell yeah. It was a sneaky peeky of Uncharted 4, confirmed. Uh, Destiny. They showed a lot more of Destiny, and that game still looks really cool. Why really want my alpha code? I signed up for Why? it. Fucks my email. The thing is, Destiny is not exclusive. Yeah. But I mean, like, that's not a bad thing. I didn't not a bad that. thing, but the thing is, it can't be touted as an exclusive, as... They I mean, have exclusive content. They yeah. just decided to show it at Sony rather than Microsoft, or what? Yeah, that's kind of the deal. And since they first announced it with Sony, I guess they kind of had to continue on the theme. Well, they're also doing that bundle. Yeah, they're doing that bundle as well with the white PS4 when it comes out. They're, they're touting it as, like, if you're going to play Destiny, PS4 system, play it on. It's got exclusive content. You can get a white PS4 bundle. Yo, this is where you want to play it. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of accent you were trying to do. Oh, yeah. It's it's Georgian, dude. That's like his real voice. Yeah, I I, I like just fake it, fake it here. <laughs> he wants to sound like a city slicker to us. You gotta, oh, mm -hmm. cool. I don't want to sound like a fucking cow licker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Definitely make it. looks good. I'm amazed that people are in alpha playing that like as we speak. Yeah, yeah I want to go do that. Yeah, I want to try it out. I want to try it out and see if I like it because like. There's a lot of games coming out at that time, so it's like I gotta pick what I want to get. Cause yeah, Warriors coming and at the same time. A lot of games coming out that time, and a lot of alphas and betas out now. Was Battlefield Hardline in the Sony press conference? Uh, that was EA, and they announced at the end after they showed no games. Uh, <laughs> you can get Battlefield Hardline. Turn on your PS4s. Go download it. Yeah. Uh, and I downloaded it. It's it looks it's it's it plays like a Battlefield 4 mod. That's okay. It. Uh, it's it's but the, but the only good thing about it is, you, if you're a cop, you can go behind a, like a robber, and you can cuff them and read them their rights. That's pretty fucking. <laughs> that's really funny. I so can that's see it. That's the only really good redeeming quality of that game. I can definitely the see Cody annoying that... people that way. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the, the whole time I saw that trailer, they were playing, or they, at the top of the screen, it said like, "You got the loot," and "Give me the loot" by Biggie Smalls was stuck in my head like the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the loot! Give me the loot! It's like, oh fuck yeah, dude, give me the loot! Hell yeah! That <laughs> game just looked like more, like, Battlefield shit. I don't know. It, it didn't look like anything one way or another. It's, it's a mod of Battlefield 4. That's it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm excited to try it. I downloaded it, but I haven't played it yet. I'll give it a go. I've always liked the Battlefield games. It's, it's only it's alpha I got in. Buy it, but I'm having a little bit of fun with the beta. Or the beta. It's the only beta I got in, I should say. Thank you. Tip Two titles that interest me the most out of Sony would definitely, I mean, it's gonna sound fucking dumb, but like, first off, the Grim Fandango remaster. Yes, definitely. I, I think that's cool. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, that's that looks fucking sick. And uh, what also looks pretty sick is No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky looks pretty Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that game looks amazing. I've more about No Man's Sky before, but I mean, like, if it's gonna be a download indie title, like, it'll only be like 15, 20 bucks, so I mean, you can't, um, you can't lose much with it. I had two games that I thought looked really cool. One was, uh, 
What the fuck? Where you? It's like the really cartoony looking indie game where you're like a cat, and it's like the woods at night or something like that. Ah, oh, fuck. What the name is that? What the fuck is the name of that game? The woods at night. Ah, I don't it's, remember the name of it. It's got a cat in it. I've yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. It's it's you living in like some weird town and like spooky shit happens and I don't know. It looked like fun. It looked like a cool little uh, game. And then the other one would you didn't even get a be... sneaky peeky of it. No, no, there was a sneaky peeky, and there was a video of it. It was one of the indie titles, and I can't for the life of me remember the title. And I'm gonna remember it at like 4:30 in the morning. They go, ah, goddamn it! And uh, was it like uh, dusk meowy? No, I don't. I don't remember. It was super cartoony looking, and looked it looked pretty rad. Whatever. The other one that I'm really excited about is uh, the new UFC game because you can have birds <laughs> the air fight. Uh, Bruce Lee. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Lee. Bruce yeah, Lee yeah. Bruce Lee is in it, and you can. I saw a demo of him fighting B.J. Penn, and then another demo of him fighting uh, George St. Pierre. I want him to fight fuck? Nick Diaz, and Nick Diaz <laughs> is, like shit talking the whole time. He's fucking rad. He fights Chael Sonnen, and none of it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, great. That reminded me. We didn't talk about the best trailer. Do you what? guys know about golf without limits? Holy shit! Oh yeah! <laughs> so, yeah, uh, like real golf. You're what? on a normal golf course. Yeah, it's just normal golf. But then you can play on a battlefield where a tanker ship crashes into an island <laughs> and explodes. What I feel fuck? like that would break my concentration if I were golfing. <laughs> <laughs> battlefield golf. No limits. There's no That's limits to golf. Okay, golf will field four. Golf is the one sport I feel like uh, there should be limits. <laughs> <laughs> After that, that was the first sports game trailer to show at like e, uh, EA's press conference. Yep. And it was like, like sports things came out. And I was, I'm, an, I'm, a, I was in a Skype call pretty much like during like those press conferences. Like, what the fuck is this? And it was just a lot of, oh, goddamn fucking sports. I was so, so fucking stupid. And then the no limits thing came up and just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> we were hoping, like, when they showed Madden, are they gonna show football without limits? Are we gonna play football in a volcano? <laughs> oh, yeah, I actually, I actually didn't see the. Sorry, sorry, Gar, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say we only race carts in volcanoes. Yeah, like Mario Kart. Have you guys been playing that? I still haven't got that yet. Yes, hell yeah, hell yeah, dude, it's fun as hell. Mario Kart Eight. Yeah, I love it. I love Mario Kart. Can't, cannot recommend it enough. Love just, it. Just don't accidentally shit talk the baby characters. Yep. Your neighbors would probably call the police. Wow. Oh, fucking babies. Just saying. Dumb baby fucks. No, no, you can't fuck babies, Jake. That's what we're mm. saying. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they're dumb. They're dummies. Big dumb dumbs. <laughs> That's dumb, dumb, dumb the fuck. Just put it in their mouth. Dumb dumb. Yeah. Bro. What? No, oh, Jake! Jake! What? Jake! What did I say? I didn't say anything! <laughs> That's, that, this is why I edit. <laughs> I was just gonna not speak. Yeah, uh, two minutes after anything like that, so uh, that uh, no one will make a correlation to right. me being in the same. Exactly, place. smart. Fuck it, I'll take the consequences. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yell at me. I don't give a shit. Write about me. Yell on me. Say I'm the reason why this podcast is shit. Well, I mean, you ruined the last one. It's true. Well, well to, be fair, to be fair, I had, I had a fucking. He only ruined half. Ryan ruined the other half. I, I, I'm just lumped in with him because I have to be like his fucking caretaker. <laughs> I think nurse? you mean Wrangler. Sorry, Ryan Ryan Wrangler, caretaker? Cody. Yeah. Are you, you should be Nurse Cody. You should be Nurse Cody. <laughs> Dr. Ryan Nurse Cody. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Last of Us remake is finally coming out. No, let's, let's start talking about games again. Let's do that. Uh, the Last of Us remakes coming out. Looking forward to that. Uh, GTA 5 coming out for PS4. I I will definitely buy that game a second time. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah. That. And I I saw that the online character will carry over. Yeah, everything will carry over. How even cool is that? Fucking... Even from Xbox 360 to PS4, which is fucking weird. I can't believe that. That's incredible. I'm I'm so stoked that that age of gaming is finally here. Yeah. Absolutely. There was a lot. Of, like, we are living I in the like future. We... E-cigarettes. I feel like. I feel like with each a lot, you you have like companies that like before it was like you always never talked or named the competition, and I feel like this E three like straight up in press conferences like Phil Spencer is just saying Nintendo, PlayStation, like in yeah. the press conference like everyone's kind of just aware of like their oh yeah it's a war it, now it reminds me of very like late eighties early nineties advertising Sega I, I does feel like Nintendo that's cool. that no shit yeah uh fuck what else uh they finally announced uh. Vita TV, which is now PlayStation TV. Thank hey. you. Yeah. 
second to Metal Gear, I think that is my favorite uh, announcement. It's very yeah, cool. Yeah, you know what's sick? You know what's sick at a gaming conference? Fucking not games. I love it. Hey, I, ex <laughs> I explained that concept to my mum, and she thought it was a cool idea. That's something that's been in the Asian market for a little over a year now, and they're expanding it. And I'm so fucking glad that we're finally getting it. I've been, like, finger on the trigger importing one and creating a Japanese account to use it. Jesus. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's going to be so cool because, like, one, like, you can use that to stream, like, Vita games, which I'm excited because that's, like, the big reason for me is I want to stream, like, Vita games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. On Twitch, you could stream a Vita game now. Yeah. That's very Holy. Cool. Okay. I. Oh, that's awesome. That now, is... now you. Yeah. Now you should just need there's two games. There's only, <laughs> hey, there's only one game you need. It's out. It's called Persona 4 Golden. You're done. Well, you're golden. Conception that was too. Good job. Thank you. But yeah, that's a feature I didn't even realize. For me, being able to play Vita games on a big screen, like just sliding the card in. Yeah. I'm gonna use that, but then. Uh, more than anything, I think I'll use PS4 Remote Play so I can play in my bedroom without moving my console. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. I think that's amazing. Yep. Yeah, we, plus we... all the TV and video services that it's it's like a little Roku box built in too. Apple TV or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it, we are we are living in the future now. This is the future. This is fi it's finally fucking comfortable to live, guys. Yep. Finally. Ugh. I've been so uncomfortable for so long. I have. I've been having to get up and pick up multiple remote controllers, oh, put batteries. What the hell? Remember fuck? when I used to have to put batteries in my game controllers? What a hell. What a what a hellish life. Yeah, I know. Mm. Uh, what? so, Tony, bless you. What else is out? Uh, uh Dead Island, I really don't remember much from Sony other than those things. Oh, wait. They, they showed the Order 1886. As well, they should more. Oh yeah, that, that was a cool little uh, gameplay like uh, demo. The, the one thing I do think is like cool about that game, I like the aspect ratio they chose for that game. What do you mean? What is it? It's uh, fuck. I don't know the exact number, but it's super like cinematic. Like oh, yeah. you have black bars at the top of the screen, and the bottom of the screen. Wow, play. that's pretty cool. Hey, can I say like I'll probably get shit for this, but like anything that looks remotely steampunky, I automatically. Oh. Don't care about it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. Why would you get shit for that? You're not. Oh, you're know. not a dumb idiot. Because I've yeah. heard that order game looks fucking good, but I can't get over that that style. Yeah, yeah, but I don't feel like it's like super steampunky, like overtly steampunky. I think it's just more medieval or like late 1800s. Or it's like Korean shit. Is it actually set in the future? No, no, no. It's in the past. 18 1886. Well, then that's not steampunk. Steampunk's a future. Bullshit thing, isn't it? I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what the timeline of steampunk is. I just know that it's got the whole thing with steampunk is that look, and it's sad that it's now steampunk has left an impression on me where <laughs> the accurate 1800s look reminds me yeah. of steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cursed by the meme. I fucking hate steampunk. So do yeah. I. I. Fucking hate it. You know what so I don't much. get. There's another punk that we need more games of. We need more cyberpunk games. I don't give a yeah. shit. That's fucking the shit. Give me we need more games. Games. Yeah, that's it. We need we need C punk games, we need vaporwave games. I want fucking Windows 95 the game. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. I I would play <laughs> Shouts out, can we give a shout out to Genre Call? Because they got me into Vaporwave. Shouts out to Alex and Eugene and that Vaporwave. I was um I was I, I, I was talking about, about this it for ages and no one's been listening. I was I was talking about this with a friend recently. They need to make a next gen Matrix game. Oh, Hell yeah! Xbox. Yeah. Fuck yeah! I want to fucking play a next gen Matrix game. Dude, you didn't you didn't play Into the Matrix? I played Into the Matrix, and I also played Path of Neo. But like those games fucking suck. Yeah, they did. I, want I just remember how difficult the helicopter level was in um, Enter the Matrix, and getting <laughs> supremely pissed off. <laughs> Did you, were you like were you, were you like an angry nerd? Were you like an angry game hey. guy? Yeah, were you like an angry baby nerd? Me? Yeah, yeah. you. Did you pick up your gold N64 controller and spike it on the floor and spike? <laughs> when, when I was when I <laughs> when I was a little younger, yeah. But around the time when the GameCube, when like you know, I had a GameCube, not really, and I didn't really play with my friends most of the time, except when I played Need for Speed Underground or like made my friend be my you know item bitch in Mario Kart Double Dash. But, uh, and, when, and whenever he was like, hey, press Z, press Z, we'll switch over, let me drive for a while, I'd be like, no, fuck you. It's the same friend that broke my finger. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Payback! Is that why your hand's all fucked up? Because that friend broke it? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Gave him the old rugby tackle at a game. But, you know, they were best buds and it was fucking footy, so it's all right, cunt. <laughs> it was it was <laughs> classic. Footy. It was it was fucking classic. And then, oh, do you mind if I, like, tell a quick story about Yeah, go it? for it. Yeah, do it. Let's do it. All right, so what ended up happening was we were watching State of Origin, which is a big game where two states verse each other in, in a game of rugby league, which is kind of like our football. And... New South Wales won, and we were t- and I was shit talking to my little friend, being like, "Oh yeah, you'd never be big enough to play rugby." Blah, 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 blah. Just shit, just general shit talk that you do when you're drunk. And then he, out of nowhere, he tackled me. And as he tackled, <laughs> as he as he tackled me, I picked, I like kind of, I managed to get on top of him, hold and hold his, and like you know, hold him down. And then he grabbed my finger while trying to aim for my hand and started to roll. Oh. And as he rolled, we just heard. Oh. <laughs> And my finger had snapped across ah! all, my, all my others and was just kind of like, yeah. and I was like, and I go, wait, 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 wait stop for a minute, stop. And he's like, yeah? I'm like, fuck. And I hold up to his face and he goes, oh, fuck. And we're sitting there like, oh, fuck, mate, what do we do? And then I'm like, oh, the hospital's around the corner, we can go there. It's like, all right, let's go. We hop in the cab and the cab keeps, the cabs keep refusing to stop for me because I'm sticking my hand out with my fucked up hand and having a bit of a laugh. And then a cab finally stops, and we get, we get in the we get in the cab, and he goes, "Yeah, mate, give me a second. I want Maccas." And I went, "Wait, what?" And he's like, "No, no, we're going through McDonald's first. Um, <laughs> oh, awesome! And so That's we're, great. The, we're waiting in the drive-through, and I'm like, "I want a fucking meal." And he goes, "What? No, fuck you. Pay for yourself, cunt." And I go, "No, no, I want a fucking meal." I was like, "Why, mate? You broke my hat. You broke my finger." And he goes. All right, I'll buy you a meal. What do you want? Mate, oh, Big Mac. He's like, oh, fuck you, mate. Just the burger. And we had about a two-minute argument while what racking up money fuck? in the cab. Until we get to the McDonald's. And then we head to the hospital where we sit down for hours, at, like, just shit-talking everyone in the lobby. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys fuck? are fucking maniacs. You are. Yeah. You are? <laughs> and so you eventually got admitted. I eventually got admitted. And I was having a joke with a few of the doctors, like, you know, I was being a big asshole about it, just going around and be like, oh yeah, so state of- So, you always watch that State of Origin? And like, oh yeah, we watched State of Origin, I'm like, how about those fucking blues, mate? They were fucking sick, eh? And they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah well, they, were, they were great. You do realize you've broken your finger, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it not hurt? Uh, I love it, you, Well, the thing is, my, I got that cold shiver where it stops hurting, like, it stops hurting after the cold shiver, and you're like, oh, okay. And yeah. still, I was a little bit drunk. And, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. And I get my X-ray done, and then I walk over to the and I walk over to the room where the waiting room for the hand clinic. And I get pumped with anesthetic, and the guy goes, "All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, my, I'm the registrar or training doctor, and I'm just gonna snap your finger back in place because it might be a dislocation." And I was like, "Okay, have you seen the X-rays yet?" And he's like, "No, not yet, but it looks like a dislocation to me." Ah. And, and I'm like, "It's obviously fucking broken." And he, and he grabs my finger and he snaps it the other way. <laughs> and I go, oh no. Oh, and I and I kind of felt the numbness of it, but I was looking at it as it happened. I was like, oh, that's gross. And he was like, D- just look away. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm curious. <laughs> and, then, oh. <laughs> and, and, he, and he lines it up. And then we fuck. And then it's all lined, but it's fucking swallowed and bruised. And I'm like, oh, do you guys like have any, you know, vending machines here or anything? And they're like, they're on the other side of the hospital. I'm like, all right, do you mind if I leave emergency to get get myself like a pie from the 7-Eleven or something? And they're like, no, you're staying here. I'm like, oh, fair enough. And I guess I went. I, I think I, you're a fucking maniac. And I went, how long have I got? To, how long have I got to stay here? Because I want to go outside to have a cigarette. And they're like, well, you can go outside and have a ciggy if you want. And just just like, for, just yeah, for right. reference, he meant a meat pie, uh, Americans. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Like a what little is- a little mini meat pie. It's. We it's, don't have that at 7-Eleven. What, no, what the pie? fuck is a meat pie? It's a oh. pie with with uh, minced meat inside. Ew. It's That's not- no, it's sick. No, it's, it's nice. Don't fucking piss it until you try it. And I've then, heard of them. They're savory. Yeah. So I'm having a cig with my fucked up hand. And people are just walking up past being like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, I'm having a cigarette. What does it look like? <laughs> and then <laughs> eventually I le- got there at 10 p.m. We leave the hospital at 5 a.m. in the morning. And then I wake up the next day and I look at my hand in the car. I'm like, oh, fuck. Go into hand clinic, have a bit of a joke around with everyone. Hand clinic. And s- hey, hand, hand clinic is the name of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> hand, hand clinic. <laughs> 
<laughs> and yeah, I had a great joke around with everyone, but surgery was where she, oh yeah. And then I looked at the doctor's report, which I did post on Facebook. It has friend was, friend was watching state of origin in brackets, New South Wales blues one. And I was like, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Fuck I yeah. Saw that. Fuck great. yeah. And you wrote that on the report. Yeah. Fantastic. It was sick. So you, you eventually went, we have to keep going with this. You eventually went back because you had to go back for surgery, right? Oh yeah, I went to surgery and just had the fucking time of just my life. Just E3 2014. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I shit you not. I walked, so into surgery. <laughs> I walked into surgery that day and I sit down and I'm joking around with fucking everyone. Doctors are pissing themselves everywhere. And eventually it gets to the point where I'm getting wheeled in and finally I'm this guy's like, oh yeah, so what team do you support in the NRL? I'm like, oh, the Mighty Tigers. And he goes, oh yeah, he supports. And then he's like, oh yeah, I'm a Panthers supporter. I'm like, <laughs> wow, too bad Panthers suck. And this was before they were top of the league. And eventually, he, he this is the guy who's meant to be putting in my, um, uh, something to, you know, actually shoot up Pat, um, and anesthetic. He's, the, he's a urinethicist. Yeah. Thank you. Right, yeah, my anesthetist. And he, and, he sh and he misses my vein three times. Oh! And, and, he, and he hits the main vein and my hand goes into an absolute spasm. And I stop. Oh, and, oh, fuck. And, the other, and I'm looking across and I'm looking across and, the, and luckily one of the other surgeons, was, well not surgeons, but one of the other anesthetists was a, was a Tiger supporter. He's like, oh yeah, we don't usually do this, mate, but we've fucked up here. Do you mind if um, you, you, can you can take a pre-op if you like? I'm like, a pre-op what? And he's like, oh, just something to like, you know, calm me down a bit. I'm like, fuck yeah, gimme. And so, <laughs> throws, oh throws it in me. I start having the time of my life, like, off my face. Oh and my they, they stroll me into the theater, and the guy sitting over the computer, having it, this is where it gets good, having a tap around. And I can see he's got, like, you know, YouTube open. I'm like, oh, what are you doing over there? Like, watching fucking funny videos or something? And he's like, no, no, usually we put on some music while we're operating it. I'm like, can I have a request? And they're like, yeah, I guess so. And as they're pulling out the mask, I go, I want time of my life playing from Dirty Game. Oh my god! You're like a real fucking lunatic. Well, you were a maniac. This is just before they gassed you as well. Yeah, and they were pissing themselves. They were pissing themselves laughing. And slowly, I see a mask descending on my face. Is well, I. <laughs> and I tried to find it as long as I could. Until I fought for like 15 seconds before I clocked out, singing Time of My Life the whole time. Oh, please. The, the, the last thing you want to see in surgery is your surgeons pissing themselves laughing before you go under. I wake up two hours later as a breathing throat, as a breathing tube comes out of my throat. I'm like, oh, Time of Life. <laughs> And the old woman next to me just stares at me and says, What's wrong with you? I'm like, What do you have planned? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, You're a lunatic. You're a maniac. You're a real fucking crazy person, like a legitimate crazy person. It's great. Hey, Zach, and you know what? That's my favorite moment of E3 2014. Yeah, fine. Hell yeah, I think so. I think mine too. Yeah. So like, <laughs> like oh, yeah. I played the new Smash Brothers and I played Hyrule Warriors, but I would definitely say that Zach. Listening to time of my life while being while passing out before surgery, E3 moment 2014. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, let's move on to Nintendo just before I quickly say that Ar Batman Arkham Knight also looks very cool as well. Yeah. Batman. It's Batman. There you go. No, 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 Batman. I, I, it looks. Hey, I'm down with playing it. I love the Arkham games. Exactly. So. Yeah, there, it's a Batman game. I thought the last one kind of got bad reviews. Origin. Well, that was not done by Rocksteady and not. Oh, by yeah. Paul that, that's different. So there you go. Far Cry Four, that too. Uh, so uh, stand on it, place your yeah. lock in the crazy man. Oh, Sims Four. What? Sims Four is coming out too. I'm excited. Oh yeah, Zach. That, that's your game, surely. That's my fucking. That's my fucking game of the year, all years. Uh, I really like new one comes out. I really liked the presentation for Little Big Planet Three as well. How they didn't like hype it; they just came back from another presentation, and it was just a screen saying Little Big Planet Three, and everyone was caught yep. really off guard, and that that was a really cool moment. I feel like the demo though was like <laughs> fucking awkward as shit though. But that's 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 what it's like playing Little Big Planet though. Mm, I guess. I mean, but you. But I feel like a demo like really wasn't necessary because everyone knows what the fuck Little Big Planet is. Well, yeah, but that's is is fun. Whatever. I'm looking forward to it. 
I never I opened my copy of two. Really? Yeah. Two, two, two was just more the same. Like I loved the first game, but when I got two, it was like, oh, there's all these cool new features, but it's still a little big planet. I kind of already had my fun, so it was like, uh, I've only played it for like a week. And yeah, just to reiterate, uh, No Man's Sky looks fucking amazing. I really hope it doesn't go the way of Spore, and that it is actually an amazing, super, like, uh, generated. Check, yeah. Oh yeah, shit! Exactly. You only know forgot about the Microsoft press conference. Project huh. Spark. Oh yeah, Conquer. Okay, this is what happened. I don't know why. I don't know why I got excited. I saw that, and I in my head I played it up like it was gonna be this good thing. Even like like if they even if they announced it, it like I wouldn't be good. But no. it, I kind of got like when I saw that I was like, holy shit, are they making a Conquer's Bad Fur Day too? And then it just was Conquer's playable of Project Spark, and it's just like fuck uh... you. Well, what what do you guys know about? Do you, you guys know, know that Conquer's Project Bad Spark? I don't even want Conquer in anything. No, me neither. No, I I don't know why, but it, like just I knew it would be bad, but in my head I played it up like holy shit, are they doing this? Like, hey, do you think Linkin Park will be playable characters in, in Project Spark too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm vouching know, for Usher, personally. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 because there's legitimacy to this, because the music video for Project for, for Guilty All the Same by Linkin Park was used Project by, with Project Spark. I, I, I'm not really? excited for Project Spark at all. I don't, yeah, I don't it looks, like it the, stupid. I don't like it the looks... aesthetic of it, personally. But whatever, I know a lot of people will like it. Fuck it again. Nintendo! NINTENDO! Nintendo. Best for last, winners I, of E3. Best I, of E3. I think, I think Nintendo did a really great job. I think, like, if you would have gone back in time a couple of years and said, like, yeah, E3 2014, Nintendo's the hippest company. Like, yeah. no one would have fucking believed you. Yeah. I feel well, like the vitality sensor. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of people, like, still, even now, are still going, Wii U doesn't have games. What else could Nintendo do? They're putting yeah. out so many games. Yeah. What else could they do? They're doing so much. How can you still say there's no games coming out? Uh, because it's a baby yeah. console. Oh yeah. It's a baby console for idiot babies. Dumb babies, idiots. Dumb I babies, only play kids. games for mature gamers such as myself. Listen, okay? It doesn't matter the size of my tiny baby dick. There's no uh -huh. way that I'm picking up a Nintendo console. Because I'm a real grown-ass man. And listen touch. to me, I'm a gamer. I'll touch my Wii before I touch a Wii. Oh, you're making like a Wii joke? Yeah, I'm playing with my Wii, yeah. <laughs> How the fuck can I drink my Mountain Dew when I'm holding such a big game pack? <laughs> well, you could use it as like a, a little table to set the yeah. Mountain Dew on while you play. I just like, maybe, like, maybe they'll make an amiibo that's like a cup holder for your Mountain Dew. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> And then it like, it like takes data from your like Mountain Dew and sends it back. Yeah, like the amount of dew that you drink is like the more yeah. powered up you get. Oh, yeah, but it it, it <laughs> store it stores the data back into that dew, so you got to be yeah. careful to share a little, to actually keep a little bit of the Mountain Dew left yep. in the can, so you can keep all your stats. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So that you guys mentioned that amiibo thing, or uh, what is it actually called? Amiibo. Oh, it's, it's, it's amiibo. Amiibo. Amiibo or amiibo. Like, like you know. Amiibo. That is where that isn't something necessarily that I'm gonna like really be into. I'll buy one. I might get a few of them just to see what they do in certain games, but that is huge for Nintendo, and I feel like that's going to help them financially in the future. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to make a killing off that. That is, that's really big with kids, oh, and this. that's that Skylanders yep. type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Disney Infinity. Yeah. And they're, they're, like, they're, like, they're integrating it with Disney Infinity as well. Which yeah, yeah. Not really, I didn't well, know that. The, the Infinity figures work with the gamepad. You don't have to have like a peripheral for it. You just stick the figures on the gamepad. That's interesting. Yeah, mm, it's pretty cool. Uh, like, like the one thing about the Smash Brothers ones, like one, they're like little trophies, like Smash Brothers trophies, which is cool. Like, yeah. Because like those are things from the series. But it's like I'll, I'll buy like I'll buy like a Zero Suit Samus or like a fucking uh, Palutena. I'll buy I'll buy those and like have two and that's it. But I'm not gonna like collect them all. It's like, no, I'll try it out and see what it has to offer. I mean, I'm saying that now. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, like with my no, Smash Brothers, like it's like they'll have like a whole thing of them. I just buy one for five bucks. I mean, it's... kids are gonna. I mean, if I'm slightly excited and them, kids are gonna go absolutely fucking ape shit for those. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're doing it for Mario Kart. They're gonna do Mario Kart later. That's cool. like I guess you just like you put it on there and the custom card of the figure will be like and there. they can be any size. They're not limiting them on size. So imagine having a massive fucking R wing, which is what Miyamoto himself was saying in an interview. He was like, "Fuck yeah, I would dig a massive R if we could release a massive R wing." I speaking of which, Star Fox is happening. Hell oh, cool. yeah. fucking yes. Yeah, it is. They announced it in a time interview with Miyamoto, but then they like pulled the interview, didn't they? Yep. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, that was another thing about the C3. What the fuck was with the fucking leak and shit? Everything. Everything's leaking. Yep. We, we've been doing E3 for so long. How the fuck do you not keep a hold on this shit? Isn't that nuts? Well, I think the thing is with days, that's just the, like, technology in the future. It's just no, everything it's, gets fucking on the internet. Dumpy. It's not even that. I'm a, market, I'm a marketing student, and leaks half the time are goddamn intentional. When oh, absolutely. Leak, absolutely. Le leaking is... Purely for hype half the time, and it's pure, and it's a massive and leaking is a massive way of conducting viral marketing. Because first off, you yeah. don't have any clutter. Because sure, I mean, if everyone's leaking, there's clutter. But if you have, if you manage to beat the time frame while still remaining relevant, well, if you let's say there's E3, if you leak maybe about a week or two before E3, you leak just as the hype is at its optimum. And without having the announcement of every other fucking thing, which is what so Kojima everyone's did. already it's talking Kojima about. Did that. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, Kojima did. Konami accidentally didn't set the Japanese trailer to prime. Uh, I oh. Oh, this shit's been happening for years. And that was only a day before, because they were uploading it also to YouTube to unprivate them for after the announcement. I feel like that one wasn't intentional. Cody drank like... the fucking Kool Aid. He's Cody, quit, quit drinking the Kool Aid. Did you people. take the blue pill, sheep? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said sheep. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, no, Zach, you're absolutely right about like leaking tactics. But is it going to reach saturation point and take it to its logical conclusion, where every every company every company's leaking everything, and the, and because some people don't know how to be fucking subtle, they don't end up looking like leaks. They'll put like a pre-trailer for the actual yeah. leak, and it'll have dubstep farts in it and Gangnam Style. <laughs> Well, the thing is, that's what it would logically progress to, I guess. I mean, it's it's entirely possible. I like the way that Nintendo kind of does things where it's kind of a direct here and there. Because first off, you avoid any massive leaks. And even if there are massive leaks, it's just in time for a scheduled direct, which is pretty cool. It's the best way of doing it without exact... while still building hype, while keeping it oh, official, yeah. and actually providing more hype via, you know, actual legitimate information rather than hearsay. Yeah. Oh. Nintendo just has many press conferences throughout the year, and it, it, keeps, it keeps people, like, in the know of what's coming out. And it keeps they, the train going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just and I, I think it's a good. I think it's a good. It's a good like deal. Just wider on the whole of E3 as well. As a fucking sound designer, and you guys have talked about this before for movies on the Mega Sixty Four podcast. Fucking dubstep farts plaguing everything. Every fucking yeah. trailer that's not from Japan is. Yeah. It's it's gone wild. <laughs> But that's the thing, the year before, it was just straight up, like, American dubstep on everything, and now it's just dubstep farts. It's like the corpse of du American dubstep, or bro step, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, is, is hanging around, and it comes out through little gated farts. Little fart noises. Shouts out. That's how we like to sneak it. We just like to little, let a little sneak out. Like a sneaky peeky fart. <laughs> sneaky <laughs> peeky. <laughs> Here, come over here, smell a little sneaky peeky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, Nintendo fucking killed it, and they, oh, yeah. they don't even yeah. they don't hey, even need to spend. Open, hey, when they showed when they were like t whenever he was talking about like open world Zelda, like well he was explaining what open world was. I mean, that was really cool. Okay. <laughs> but then, and then, uh, like just seeing like open world Hyrule, it, like just that wide shot, it was like, holy shit, like that was just like, wow. That is like a awesome killer game. I want to play open world Zelda. Like, yeah. what could they do? Like, oh my god, that's like well, they amazing. Came, they came fucking guns blazing from the get go. They went, all right, fuck it, you get Bayonetta one free with Bayonetta. Oh 2. yeah, that's how cool is that? See, how cool is that? Yeah. And then you get fucking Mario Party ten. You want to play with your friends? Fuck yeah, there you go. You get a new Star Fox game. Yeah, here's a new Yoshi game. Here's a new Kirby game. We're gonna talk a little. We're gonna. You even got some fucking Smash Bros. information to top it all. Here's fucking Legend of Zelda. Done. Oh, and no. Splatoon. Yeah. And Splatoon. Splatoon. And Captain Toad's Treasure Adventure. Treasure Tracker. Shit oh, looks yeah. great. Yeah, Captain Toad looks like fucking the shit. I love Captain Toad. Don't fucking call it your little me. <laughs> Listen, Captain Toad. Don't, don't call people it that. Don't call it like, that. Oh, Cody. Like, don't call it that. Hey, oh, hey, Tud. Hey, hey, Jake. Quiet. I, uh, listen. <laughs> this is Captain Tud. It's wow. me. Listen. This is lungy bullshit. I'm over it. Tud. What the fuck is Tud? Tud is a Tud. You know Captain Tud? <laughs> fucking Tud before? Holy shit! You just keep saying it. <laughs> listen. Okay. What is? What's, what's I, Tud? I, I want to get to explaining what makes 
this the greatest video game ever made? Please. No, just keep telling me to listen. <laughs> listen. Just keep saying Tud. <laughs> listen, if you're pulling your pud to Captain Tud, you're in the wrong. <laughs> your pud to Captain Tud, you're in the wrong. So I want you to listen, and I want you to respect that Captain Tud is the greatest Nintendo property to ever <laughs> come out of the last 10 years. You are a Tud that goes around looking for adventure and treasure, and you can't touch? jump, and you gotta find treasure. It is the shit. What's a Tud? What? <laughs> are you I have no idea what Tud is. Are you, you trying to say what? Toad? Are you trying to say Toad, but you're tud. fucked up? It's a Tud. I don't, you can't explain it that way. Is this like a Mario Tud? <laughs> if you if you if you look at a Tud, you just say it's a fucking Tud. I don't know what that is. What's a Tud? It's a Tud. Jake, oh shit! Help. Jake, help me. Here's a, a, a explaining the Tud game. Next uh, game. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what the fuck you said. <laughs> yeah, because Jake, some, what's a Tud? Bugs or some shit. I didn't give a fuck what's about a tud? any Tuds. Let's move on. Tud looks great. What's a Tud? Oh my god, I can't wait to Tud. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I totally forgot what I was going to talk about now. Are you gonna talk I'm about not going to move on until I get a description of what a Toad, toad is. is. It's say, saying Toad, that's all it is. That's the whole bit. Oh, no, no. That's the entire What's bit. The bit? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Eric wants to talk smash. Yeah, oh, you fucking yes. do. Let's do it. Let's, let's fucking go for it. I'm excited. Go. Did anyone go to their local Best Buy and play it? I didn't want to drive two hours. Zach, did I you go to your local Best, Best Buy? Yeah, I drove all the way to like, what's the most southern point of the US? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Florida. Cuba. Florida, yeah, sure, why not? I just fucking swam to Florida with my broken finger mm -hmm. just to play Smash. At the, at, the near, at the nearest retiree's Best Buy. San Diego's closer to you. you could have just said, I, I know, but like it's closer to him if he said San Diego. I just want that old retiree poon. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Floridans have a southern accent? They fucking they don't. <laughs> no, I'm traveling to Florida. It's Eric, tell us about Smash! It's, uh, okay. I played it for probably total, about an hour, over three days. Um, it's, you're gonna see a lot of changes from what people played because Little, Little Mac has, like, too much knockout power. Uh... But every character has pretty nice knockout. It's a little, it's faster than Brawl, but slower than Melee. It's heavier. It's in between. It is an in between. It's it's heavier than Brawl, so your jumps don't feel so floaty, and like you're hanging in the air for a really long time. This the stages are awesome. It's all in HD, so it looks incredible. The gameplay is a lot of fun. All the items feel good. Uh, the characters that you had playable were a lot of fun. I thought Nindo, Nintendo's like press conference tournament thing for it was really like incredibly well oh, produced. <laughs> Nindo, oh, yeah. Nindo, is that like a tub thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nindo, 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 Nindo is making me tub. Sweet. Hey, can That's I just up. side note while we're talking Nindo? Uh, uh -huh. Reggie from Nintendo has been like taking this Phil Semek <laughs> thing. That yeah, he came up with <laughs> another Nintendo Tud thing. Works, like it's still taken off. off. Nintendo has taken it on themselves to keep that going that's amazing and hey guys congratulations on that video too that is oh, I, fucking very amazing much. That, cool. that shouts out to Rocco Derek and Sean man they they uh yeah they killed it with that I mean Rocco came up with that in a dream on a plane during a layover in Denver <laughs> and now, it's a now yeah and now it's like a Nintendo staple as of E3 yeah you can race with the character in Super Mario Kart like it's fucking crazy and you play but with in Smash now too because me fighters yeah, oh, yeah. Me fighters. Hey, well, I, what, I saw the cast of uh, King of the Hill. King oh, of the Hill. So yeah. I'm so, all so about when they announced Me Fighters, like I was like I had a feeling like they were gonna kind of do Mies mm. like uh -huh. beforehand, but like I was just kind of like, yeah, if they do Mies, like that's not that great. But the concept of you pick a class, you have custom move sets for those classes, and there's so many combinations, yep. and you have different costumes, outfits, and tons of unlockables to customize cool. your Me. That's pretty it's fucking cool. It's a lot of fun, and and I think that you're gonna see. I don't know if you'll necessarily see people maining me's. Yeah, but I, think. I think I think you're me. Like you'll learn really well and be able to play with your friends really well. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, love I, it's me's. Great, it'll I, love great, like, me's. Yeah, I love me's. I love me's. Love me's. Get out of here. Cody, love me's. Well, I, I love me's, but I don't like the other thing you're fucking referencing. You're a memer. You're a memer. Are you a memer? I'm not a fucking memer. I'm not a. Uh, it sounds like I'm not a dirty memer. You were on the last show when you were. 
assisting Ryan yeah. and ruining. Yeah, when you were nursing Ryan and ruining the show, you were a memer. <laughs> Don't you try to pull You were a memer lemur. Cody is a memer lemur. No, she can pull this shit on me. <laughs> I'll end you. But back to Nintendo, you guys should talk about Splatoon because that game well, looks uh, fucking one, fun. Okay, one, one thing I want to know about Smash first before we leave off from it. Sure, Aaron, oh, yeah. One, are you going to play it? And two, are you finally fucking happy that they're making a GameCube thing for it? Does Baby have his bubble? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, you say that like it's like, oh, yeah, oh, you couldn't play it without it. The only, I'm not joking, this is fucking for real. I want to know. The only way you could play it, the only way you could play it on the show floor at E3 was with a GameCube controller. What? Uh, what? There, there what? was no other way to play it, period. It. Somebody asked, can I play it with the gamepad? They said no. <laughs> they're wanting to appeal to the competitive market, and like I understand, like the okay, the GameCube controller—that's the most comfortable thing for Smash. It's like a fight stick, but for I think Smash, it's cool. It's I think it's cool. It's the most comfortable that. control, period. I think yeah, it's yeah. cool. <laughs> but like, it's like I, I do feel like saying that, like I can't play Smash with that game controller, is like saying I'm not gonna play the new Zelda because I can't use an N64 controller. Because I love how Ocarina of Time plays. Like, I, I feel like it's a thing you have to adapt. Like, you can adapt. It's possible to adapt to play. But I do. I am happy Nintendo is giving the option for people that want to play with the GameCube controller can play with. Okay, the then how do you how do you feel about the six button game pads that came out for Street Fighter? That no, no. That's what I'm saying. I compare the game like the like that's what I was saying before. A GameCube controller is like Smash's fight stick. Yeah, that's what people prefer. But like, hey, I I play fucking Street Fighter with like just a normal controller. I don't care. Like it's, Street Fighter with a normal controller, I, I it don't sucks. even, I, and I, I'm, I'm shit at uh, fighting games, but I don't even like playing them without a fight stick. I can't, yeah, do, I can't do, like, I can't do King of Fighters with a controller either. It just doesn't happen for me. But I feel like Nintendo, like Street, like Smash Brothers is a party game. It's a party game that accidentally became like this competitive thing with melee. But they're embracing it now. They, they are. They, they are to a degree. They're still having like they, they, they acknowledge the market for competitive Smash Brothers now. They are fully embracing that side of it, but they also still say, this is still a party game. This is still a game that you- Right, but you understand that their stream wasn't a party stream. It was a competitive Smash Brothers tournament yeah, they, at, like, E3, they, they, at E3, they, at E3, at E3, to show off all the new features. It wasn't a bunch of dudes sitting around playing it. It was a huge stream that was competitive play at an arena in Los Angeles. I, I don't think you get what I'm saying. Like they're. I, they're fully acknowledged. Like the reason why they're like showing that, hey, I, I, think, I think acknowledging is too low of a word for it. Well, well, like, no, well, no, no. They're embracing it fully. Like they're having, like, say, like, because they never, like, with Brawl, they were just kind of like, yeah, this is Brawl. And then when they showed it off, they didn't really have that. They didn't have like a big competition like that. They're really showing, hey, we're gonna really give all the people that want competitive Smash Brothers what they want. But it's also at the same time still this fun party game you can have with, like, play with friends. They're giving. They're they're trying to give like both sides of it what they want. It's very cool. As soon as I saw the the announcement like a few weeks back for that GameCube controller, I immediately thought of of Eric and um, and Derek as well. It's like, oh, they're gonna be so fucking happy. Oh, we well, were, it's not just we them. Excited. I mean, we it's thrilled. It's yeah. everyone who is in love with. The, I mean, that community is fucking huge. The Smash, the Melee community. I might even buy a GameCube controller for it. If I really no, get into it. By the adapter, it comes with like a game controller, I think. Like yeah, a special yeah. one that you like, smash symbol on it. Which right. is pretty dope. I'll get one of those, probably. Yeah, it's only tw it's only 20 bucks. Uh, I might not get it when the game comes out, but I might get it like later. So, Eric, to sum up, are you going to play it? Oh, yeah. Like, man, it's so much fun. Little Mac is like, I want to get so good with him. He is so much fun to play as. Uh, re real quick, when you play as Little Mac, you every I think it's like every punch that you land, uh, every kind of hit builds a little meter with a little meter fills to KO max little uh, like regular B move when it's on KO you can go in and like when you square off against someone you're right on top of them and you land his regular B move it zooms in on them getting punched under the chin like an uppercut and if their levels high like their percents high enough it's an instant KO yeah Fantastic. he has so many knockout punches it's awesome yeah that's sick but can you play his side no, if you, you make a me, if you make a me, a a me Sai. Yeah, you can make, yeah, you can play a Sai, Oh, Jake. you can play. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. I, I, I really did like how they the had they had the multi-tiered kind of me approach to it as well with the sword fighter, the uh, yep. the, the puncher, and uh, the other thing, I forget. Uh, the gun, I, I, gunman. I, I really like the decisions they're making with this Metro. I really like how Zero Suit Samus and Sheik are now separate. 
Uh, cause I mean, well, that one, that means that no one's gonna play as fucking Zelda anymore. Who the fuck's gonna play as Zelda? Everyone's just gonna be Sheik. But, uh, a Zero Suit Samus looks dope. Like, it looks a lot better. Like, seeing that in the tournament, like, that was the one that won the tournament. Do you like, yeah. do you like, yeah. get a, quick did, as fuck. Did you get like what? a, did you get like a fat tub when you saw that? Fuck yeah, I did, bro. <laughs> uh, and Samus on her own still looks good. So, like, I, I think it's really good that they separated those characters and made Zero Suit, like, a lot better. You approved. Yeah, I like, I like a lot of the rebalancing. So. And, and there's gonna be even more rebalancing now that like they did a tournament. Yeah. They're gonna watch that footage and it's gonna be a whole different game. Oh, I feel see. like they're going That's into exciting. like super analysis of all of the competition that was held yep. and gonna just refine from that. I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's very, now, very clever what they're doing. Originally, they were against putting Mies in because they said they didn't want you inflicting damage like on a like. A character so like your friend right. on Pac-Man. Uh, yeah, exactly. They didn't want you to punch Pac-Man. Yeah, fuck but it looks Pac-Man. like I'm, I'm glad they rescinded that because that's gonna be huge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah, like you said, Pac-Man. Like originally, like for a Namco character, because like Namco's helping develop it. Like I was, th- there's so many good Namco characters, and it's like I personally like when I like thought like if they do Pac-Man, that's kind of boring. But they made Pac-Man this all-star Namco character. That's yeah, rad. I, I thought that was really like, cool. Uh, dig, really, uh, really cool. This rad shit. Mapland. Yes. There's a map, but that fucking mouse is in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that fucking mouse with the spotted underwear. With it's its... crazy. That 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 actually got me excited for Pac-Man, so I, I I'm on board with that. Shouts out. Well, look, uh, I think there's exciting stuff coming out on all three console systems. There's always heaps of st- good stuff coming out on the PC as well. You know, you just stay. But that but that's such. It's becoming. Do you think that the worlds of like console gaming and PC gaming are like dividing now? Do you think it's like just not? Do I, I can choose over which one? Because there's so much stuff that's just coming out for PC now, which is so exciting as well. That like yeah. they've become listen, completely separate worlds to me that don't even compete anymore. Jake, listen, I am, <laughs> I am the PC master race. <laughs> I uh I prefer to play PC gaming over your console games because <laughs> I'm I'm a true gamer like a real nerd. I bet you don't mod uh, games. I know how to mod games. Uh, you can't do that on console. Uh, so if you if you tell me that you play like uh, Halo on your Xbox, I, I laugh in your face. I spit in it. Zach, what do you okay, think? I'm, I'm a true right gamer. I'm a guy. Huh? Do you get? <laughs> Hi Zach. Hi Zach. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I zoned out for a second. I was literally just like staring at my keyboard, praying that I could pass. <laughs> well, he was staring at his keyboard, imagining being part of the PC Master Race. I know. Uh, as soon as someone said PC Master Race, I instantly clocked out. <laughs> because I'm like, here we fucking go. And my brain just kind of associates it with noise now because everything has got its merits. To be honest, like, going for. I personally. I want to play Sims 4. I'm, I'm not going to play it on a console. I'm going to play it on a PC. If I'm going to play, like, you know, if I'm going to play my RTSs, I'm not going to play on the fucking console. I'm going to play it on the PC. But if fuck, if I'm going to play a Mario game, I certainly can't play it on the PC. But I can play it on a console. Zach, Everything's listen. Not- you fucking bah bah. When there's a will, <laughs> when there's a when there's a will, there's a way. If a, ever heard you- emulator? Ever heard of Dolphin? Did you download Dolphin? Bet you didn't. Ever played with a dolphin? Bet you haven't. What about that woman in the news that fucked a dolphin and then yeah, it killed oh, that's itself? Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Yeah. yeah. She didn't fuck it. She just masturbated it. But it then it can, but really, because some news sources say like she, she had, like, was to suck her fuck. <laughs> but, and then it and then it committed porpoisine. Yeah. yeah. Porpoisine. Yeah, really. They dropped acid together, and then when uh, she left, the experiment was over. It killed itself. You like that one, DJ? Eric? You guys are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, we are. Pull the side. Welcome yeah. to a video game podcast. <laughs> game podcast. That was pretty fucking metal. Hey, at least we're not doing fucking on the fly. Uh, go ahead. I can't even think. Of what go I can't ahead. even. Think that of sounds what like what an on the fly joke. Hey, guys, can we? Can we? Uh, <laughs> well, I really Tommy. can't. I can't think of what. Oh, fan we... fiction. Wow, that word escaped me. It was so bad last week. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> I was. Uh, I was going to count you down to uh, announce what you were going to say, but you, you got there, and I'm really proud of you, Garrett. I just want to say that. If you stick with it, it comes. Thank you. Oh, can I come? <laughs> yes, it will. Mm. What the fuck is that originally from? What is the source for that? It's coming. Uh, I like, think it was. Your dick. It comes out of your dick. Yeah, I like... listen to uh, the Howard Stern show pretty religiously, and he'll play a lot of gay porn clips. 
and make fun of them. So, yeah, I know that sounds a little <laughs> no, I think so, it's funny. You know, hard to, it sounds a little crude, but I assure you, it is done so fucking fu- so well. Oh, I know and how there Howard was this rolls. One clip he played recently uh, where it was just this really deep grunt. And it was, oh, can I come? <laughs> and he was, I remember they were commenting on, like, guys talking too much in porn. And especially in gay porn, guys talk a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I wouldn't think a lot of girls talk in gay porn. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want girl commentary on gay porn. Can we have, like, a commentary community? Like, you know, like, people commentate our video games? Let's do it all. Yeah, hey, Cody, can you start that? Can you start commenting on gay porn? Yeah, sure, why not? Or we, as Cody and I have actually considered doing riff tracks for uh, hentai before. Oh, yeah, that was, like, two oh, years oh, ago. Oh, that would be great! No, yeah. Would be great. That would do fucking Don't encourage I, this! I, 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 like, we were thinking that, and I also, like, wanted to do, like, shit like reviews of like hentai on like just posting on porn sites where people like search this shit yeah it's just like this guy yeah, going yeah. all right so uh, we're checking out a sexual pursuit a uh, hentai uh, incest hentai where a video game makes the family fuck uh you're looking at they're playing simon says uh <laughs> right now it exists <laughs> this actually exists and it's fucking hilarious it's the best english dub of anything ever as well yeah they go mm, kind of come <laughs> Mommy. There you go. Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, moving on. Yeah, it's like three. Wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're remaking... The, hey! Uh, hey! My boys, they're remaking a special game. What is that what game? game? What game? They're doing a remake of Heartful Boyfriend. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh. You're fucking kidding me. I thought, I thought I'm not, they were just showing it. We're not kidding. They showed it at E3 as well, apparently. But I thought they were just showing the, the normal game, not a remake. No, they, they are remaking it. They're remaking... A bird dating sim. Yeah, they had like, a trailer there, like I think outside of E3. That was just a hard old boyfriend trailer. A trailer Holy playing shit. like on a TV. No, 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 no like a trailer, like a, you know, a fucking trailer. Oh my god! Why? Yeah. Have- Devolver Digital is publishing it, and the uh, developer is. <laughs> the, the people that made Hotline Miami are publishing this. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's the remake is made. The remake is made by a company called Mediatronic, and yeah, this is actually happening. They are actually remaking Hardful Boyfriend because it's it's very hard to play the original now. You have to like 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 install a really old version of QuickTime for it to work, and it's it doesn't Damn. work on new computers. That's great. I just I just thought they showed the the old game there, just to like nope, Re- see, total remake. Play. Yeah. Can we cross our fingers for a console release? I'm I'm crossing my fingers, and I've reached out to both companies, the developer and the publisher. I want to I want Gaming Cult to work with with fucking. This is a call out. Devolver Digital and Mediatronic. We want to work with you on this remake of Heartful Boyfriend. Yeah. Let's call my mammy to cancel that. Put it on console. Well, that's not how we're gonna get their cooperation, Cody. Uh, that, what? I, 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 hey, listen. I think want, I know how this. We want any way possible to be involved with this remake of Heartful Boyfriend as the collective that very much helped make this famous in the West. I would like to lend my talents, whatever they may be, Jake, you'll see to sort that all out. But Devolver, I'm, I'm game. Let's you do it. You guys started this conversation without me? Well, well you, 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 we lost you. Like You went off to the fucking cat here, dimension and we couldn't like, find you. We need, to, we need to get your hype out of it. Yeah, we want to ask you if you want to come. I don't want to ask you that. <laughs> I, I, I do. I'm gonna, you know what? Three, two, one, count me down and ask you, Zach. Do you want to come? Okay, I'm gonna wanna, count no, him no, down. Count him down. No, I'm gonna count Seven, him down. Please don't count down. Six. Yeah, should but, I start again? I was Garrett well, doing Jake, it. Jake, should oh, I no. count him down from Who's seven? Who's doing the countdown? Let's let's come on that countdown. Okay, should I count him down? From countdown. Seven? I'm pulling my putter right now. Pulling my putter, Captain Tud. Okay, seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. God damn it, Zach. Do you want to come? Maybe. Okay, well, there you go. Ah! Well, maybe. No. Answer? Zach, what do you think of the remake of Hardable for Boyfriend, my, my, my Brother? Let me know. I'm pretty fucking stoked, as you can imagine. Like, I'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'll make comments when it comes out. Fuck, I might even play it when it comes out, believe you, it or not. You were, like, the, one of the first people to really make this game famous in the West. Infamous, I know. rather. Yeah. We need to be involved with it. And You're we were a just... pioneer. I know. You're I'm a man. I, I'm a man who fucked birds before his time. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked birds before it was cool, man. You're the original bird fucker. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we could. You're the that. Matrix of bird fucking. <laughs> You're the Pulp Fiction of fucking birds, dude. Ruby says hi. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> 
Thanks for coming on the show last time. episode, my sister. Thanks for ruining the show last time, Ruby. No, she was the one that actually saved it. Um, that was Ryan and Cody. Yeah, thanks for saving the show last time, Ruby. Yeah, yeah, like I said, and shout uh, out to I, saying you're I'm just I'm no. just a dog owner. What my dog does doesn't mean that I'm fucking at fault. I can't control it. <laughs> you're a fucking maniac. Shouts out <laughs> and shouts out to Petrol Cianu as well from My Life as a Video Game who came on last time. Shouts out. Yeah. And shouts out to Brental Floss, I hear. Yeah, Brental Floss, who set that, who helped set that interview up. He is actually a gaming cult fan. So shouts out Brental Floss, believe it or not. Wow. Really? Yep. Shouts out Brental Floss. Yeah, shouts out, Brental Floss. Yeah, shouts really? out man. Uh. I thought that he was dead. I thought Mega Sixty Four killed him. <laughs> oh my god. Did that no, actually happen? Can we? Yeah, at, at SGC, it did. <clears throat> he had to be put to death he because did. Mega Sixty Four won. That's he was true. put to death. I don't know what's. I don't know if this is a space-time uh, paradox or something. Yeah, kind of like a multiverse DC thing. It's some kind of six one six deal. Yeah, but he's it's Brental Floss, Brental Floss Prime, and Brental Floss. Like yeah. it's just kind of different, yep. you know? Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. So we're all trying to figure it out. We've got our top men on it. Yep. Top men. Fucking shoot him with a gun. Uh, Thanks for listening. Right. Cool. Thanks for being a guest <laughs> on the show. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to cut that out, maybe not. Don't edit. fucking cut it out. Cut you out. Don't cut me out. This is a Cody free episode. Oh no. <laughs> okay, cut it out. So okay, cut out all that offensive shit. Hi, bro. Leave this in. Hi, bro. Floss. So happy that you like um you like our show. Uh, I love you. Uh, I really like what you do on all the things you do. Yes. I like I like those funny songs. And man, I, I just think we should get coffee sometime and, you know, so we can kind of stare at each other's eyes and I can, you know, maybe we'll get something extra and I get a sneaky peeky of oh, whatever shit. you got going on down there. E3, oh. I think we did it. I think we did it, guys. Did we do it? I think we did it. We did it. We done what did it. What E3 wrap up special that was. I can't wait for our pre E3 special next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay. What, what was everybody's favorite thing at E3? Nintendo. Yeah, Smash, Smash Brothers, mm -hmm. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, Phantom Pain. I'd say I said Phantom Pain, but like if you say like company, like Nintendo. Nobody said company. Kevin. Nobody said oh, you. Well, well, you always make no, these you rules said up for yourself. You stick with it. Yeah, Cody has to say Nintendo. Yeah, uh -huh. but I love Nintendo, and I don't, I love Kojima. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I thought it was it was the lots of cool things, and I like the fact that I'll be able to play some cool games for all of my consoles. Uh, oh, but yeah. they didn't say anything about D4. I wish they would have said something about D4 for the Xbox. Uh, well. I think. Well, they did say that it's coming out this year apparently, and it's they're removing Connect like requirements because like the Connect's not bundled with the Xbox One anymore. But okay. it's coming out this year apparently. So I would say. Uh, there's so many things, but I'm excited for Metal Gear, and I'm excited for Grim Fandango. Yep. And Nintendo! I love Nintendo, Captain Todd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zach, what is your favorite thing? I'm guessing it's The Sims 4, but good, say it anyway. Sims 4, everything, and just not to be casual, pretty much everything was pretty fun. When I get back from Europe, I've probably got some... I I'm pretty sold on the Wii U once, you know, shit starts yeah. dropping. I and... Yeah, I mean, I'm still tossing up between that Xbox One and Sony, but I mean, I mean I'm mean, i probably going to go for the Xbox One to start off with, and I'll probably build my collection to have all three by, by around Christmas. Shuts up. I'm sold. They look like a lot of great games. This was a good E3. Yeah, yeah it was. E3, hey, you know what? At this E3, I had the time of my life. <laughs> and I've never felt this way before. Garrett, take it. I swear it's the truth. And I wait on you. Cody. I swear. It's a mon Cody, no, don't do that. It's a montage. It's like the end of an 80s movie where there's a montage and everyone sings. It's just like Shrek, okay? <laughs>
burning the burning the burning the burning the club burning the club burning the burning the club burning the club burning the 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 burning Oh man! Say bye, Zach. See, when I get back from Europe, I'll have many tales. And oh, I can't you know wait. what? You should hit us. You should hit us up on our Twitters. We've got um, Zach. Uh, I hope you survive your trip to Europe. That's all I say as your I brother. Agree. I probably won't. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna live through it. <laughs> <laughs> if I die in Croatia, I die happy and sexually fulfilled. Whoa. Wow! Hell yeah! Damn.